Congratulations, it's you good. have turned it on. Yay! Well, that ain't my plan. I got paralyzed. I'm going to stretch. I'm being dragged along. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm yeah, and you were heading back to town, except apparently not because uh, people are bad at directions. Yeah. Another one? I'm helping pull this thing. <laughs> this thing, yep. yeah. Maybe that's I like that you've been demoted lost. from person to thing. To be fair, he is covered with like potted seeds and flowers and yes. a giant of amount of specimens of giant flowers. Correct. We did find a lot of I did bring a bunch of sacks. Yes. Well, they're now full sacks. They are. Nut sacks. <gasps> Seed sacks. I also have a map of the area. Do you? Map of South East, South East Iron Point Mountain. Well, given where you've ended up, are you sure that that map is accurate? It was dark <laughs> when we were going through it, so I can't see in the dark. No, so I'm assuming I had the map shot. upside down. <laughs> I just couldn't tell. So is the NPC fought about his shot. A jug of syrup. So what do each of, of us know about the Fae? That's, Sack, that's uh, what we're at. What anyway. do any of you know about the Fae? Pretty sure nothing. What is the background info that everyone would know about Fae? They're bastards. Or the superstition around the Fae. I'm pretty sure about. someone wins. Does anyone have... Nope. I doubt it. So I would say if you've got knowledge law on <laughs> the Fae specifically, that's going to be helpful. Knowledge, law on. Nope. <sighs> Say myth or legend, that's probably gonna have something in it. I got a 20 total for my law master law. Okay. So that would be on face specific, essentially. Yeah, for your law master, I would say that you would have a pretty basic understanding of how the fate function. Well, the way it works is you roll as if you are trained in that specific law. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. 20 so, on law of fae. Yeah, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. You have a basic understanding of how the law functions, uh, how the fae functions. So mm -hmm. they would normally, you know, they live in the fae wilds, mm -hmm. um, which is a different plane. Mm -hmm. um, they tend to come across to the mortal realm and do shenanigans. Mm -hmm. They have a very playful... Some of them tend to have a vindictive side. <laughs> As I think about that part, I just kind of look over at Lucille. And it has been known that some gnomes have a strain of fae in them. And you can tell by their wild coloration. Yes. Um, I'm brown. <laughs> they are known for a very particular type of uh, it, it's odd it's like double speak but it's also bargaining yeah yeah you've got to be very careful with what you say to them mm -hmm. yeah we're good <laughs> it's just sort of yeah this will be fine <laughs> ah. Ah, ah. my lore is ether owl <laughs> So, do either elves have anything particularly with the Fae that I know about? Any history? Roll any... me knowledge Aether elves. That's 12. You have, the Aether elves have tried to make bargains with the Fae in the past. You don't know the specifics. It's never worked out in your favor. Cool, cool. You don't know why. It's, okay. it's always shrouded in some kind of odd secrecy, but the Aether Elves have never been able to successfully make bargains with the Fae. Do we have any, like, warnings or stuff that people nope. think of? Okay. Nope. Cool. It's just... There's no warnings about making bargains with the Fae. There's no... You're not allowed to get in touch with the Fae. There's nothing... There, it's not like the Fae's off limits. It's just that there have been a couple of like no horror stories as children. No horror stories or anything like that. It's just that there have been a couple of times where like the council has attempted to make deals with the Sealy Court mm. and it has never worked out in the council's favour. Mm. Okay. And they're the nice ones. Yes. 
and just something always goes something always seems to happen and the, the deal never goes through and it's yeah do they have any prejudice towards gnomes well, i mean to goblins nope you forgot oh. what species you were <laughs> The um, other they don't have culture. any prejudice or yep. they don't have any prejudice towards any races in particular mm-hmm. but they don't show any real favoritism towards <clears throat> anyone apart from gnomes they do seem to show a small amount of favoritism towards gnomes but when i say small i'm talking they will be you will be here's the... everyone <laughs> and here's gnomes what they'll do is they'll tend to put gnomes at the end of the like the trick list <laughs> So they'll trick everybody else first, and then they'll win the nose. <laughs> Just a whiff of thing. Yeah. Cool. Um, apart from that, that's... But a lot of that is stuff that you would get in your standard nursery rhymes and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Like... It's... Yep. Yeah. Alright, I'd share that knowledge with you guys. As we go along. Uh, but we don't know. You mean in the three seconds it's oh, going to take right, us yeah. from Never mind. when Never we hear mind. The, the ringing, jingling bell sound, it's like, what is that? To you guys, to, ah! Well, you guys would have stopped it. Like, when we heard that. Well, it's night time. You got, and when I say you hear a ringling sound on the wind, it's like this odd sort of. It's odd. Like a wind chime? It sounds kind of like a wind chime, but not. Now Santa's here. <laughs> Not really. You would recognise it as something you would have heard a couple of times in the past. See, instant panic, step back, hide behind the tree. <laughs> Do I notice? Does anyone know? You, pro- you can all see me, so... Yeah. Well, yeah, out of everyone, you're the one that doesn't have night vision, so... Dark vision. I have dark vision. I have, um... Low light. Low light. I mean, there's a mirror. No, I still hold. I have dark vision, actually. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is that what I think it is? I don't know. You tell me what you think it is. <laughs> I try and get the Kakaron stretcher behind a tree, too. I don't know why I hide behind <laughs> a tree. I'm like, alright. Just, you're hiding behind a tree. You're hiding behind a tree. And ah! the stretcher just, ah! it's like suspended in air between these trees. <laughs> like a spider's web. Well, I've never heard it before, but it sounds kind of like what I hear in relation to face stories. <laughs> and the gnome is now hiding behind a tree. Am I? Yes. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> I watched you distinctly move to hide away. No, I admit to nothing. But what you are saying sounds distinctly... Possible? Yes. There we go. Please elaborate as to why you hid from no the tingle. No reason. There are reasons. Explain. Is... No. Why? I don't know how. <laughs> Should we grab our shields and swords? No. Or... No. <laughs> no. I don't know how to react to what you. Well, you're holding a stretcher. You can't really hold it. Well, I know, but I can put it down. And... <laughs> no. Okay. Look, if it is the fate, at least this one is quiet. Kakran, if they offer you things, do not at them. Do not accept anything. Can he uh uh and uh huh? One uh for yes and two uh for no. Can you understand me? Look, that was three. (laughs) (laughs) That wasn't even an option! I'll just move one of the flowers over from his chest to over his face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blown. This wasn't even an option. So I fear we may be lost and have stumbled into something we probably don't want to be stumbling into. Well, maybe. Where am I looking right now? <laughs> Oh <laughs> ah, yes, let me have a look at this map in pitch dark as go. Mm, yes, this is incredibly oh, visible to me. <laughs> Where am I going to get a torch from? Your oh, bag. Yeah. Right here. <laughs> also, have you roll me a perception test? Aww. 
Well, I mean, you can roll a perception test. Well, if they come from that very one. one specific direction I can actually see. You mean covered by a leaf? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I rolled a 15, so yeah. Cool. I think. What is my perception? Six. Six. You are far too observant. <laughs> far too, con you know, from the tree. Yep. 17. 17. 10. 10? I rolled an eight mm. nice. and did better than everyone else. Mm -hmm. It's almost like you are the one that is observant. I can't see, but I can hear. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll put this torch on. Oh, <laughs> well, now I'm blind in two ways. No, well, see, that's the thing, right? So you're, even with the group, you know, you're at the front. And you hear Azula like, oh, but we'll put this torch up so you can have a look. And you instinctively turn around and look the other way. And as you do, you notice up ahead, there must be a path that you were following. And you notice two lights flit across it. One sort of yellowy red, the other one, the other one pinky green. All right. Everyone shut up for a moment. <clears throat> Does it sound like they might be giggling? <laughs> it's a little bit hard with all the sort of ruckus going on behind you, but you do almost hear this sort of giggling, wind chimey noise coming from up the, this path. Okay. How many of you are prepared to die today? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I can see clearly now, the map was up the wrong way. <laughs> this path is not on this map. I don't know where we are. Wait. We're here. Mm -hmm. That's not where we're supposed to be. Um, oh, Kara, you want to go to stars, right? Um, yes, but I feel like there are more pressing issues than where we are currently located. <laughs> Did you not hear? Well, you didn't hear it either. Didn't I? No. That's why I was asking. Oh, never mind. Okay, then. You didn't hear it. Only... Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, yes, I am good with stars. I could help you work out where we are on the map if you would like. Yeah, stars sure. Are. Yeah. I'm keeping my eyes looking up at where the little flickering lights are. You basically watch them stop half plate across this little path that you're on mm -hmm. and then flit into the forest again. Not where the map is. What are you looking at? Nothing. <laughs> now. <laughs> what were you looking at? Even you didn't see him. No, Zula pointed to the map and told me to look at it. Ah. I uh, think there might be some will o wisps up the front. Wonderful. What is a will o wisp? Rolling. <laughs> it's the soul of a dead child. Is that? That's an eight. I don't know what you asked me to roll. That's a natural one. No, that's an eight. eight. Oh, it's an eight. Um, Plus, what did you want him? No, that was... Uh, I'm trying to think. Like, roll an idiot check. I succeeded. What does everyone know about the Is that a general thing? Pretty sure it's a tree. I mean, if it's any kind of magical thing, I do not have that. No. It's going to be... I don't know anything either. No, that's alright. Oh, then you don't have any positive. No. Oh no, it is nature. Oh. Fifteen. Fifteen? Yep. Okay. <laughs> so. They're not will o wisps. Mm. They were sprites. Ah. Ah. Less. Less, Less malevolent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's like, oh, wait, hang on. No, that's fine. Um, yeah, so two, two sprites. Let's see. 
it's probably not too unsafe to follow them. <laughs> they're not going to immediately kill you. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're, they're not going to lead you to your death. No. Wait, oh, what? Are you not listening? You didn't say the words. You said will and whisper. <laughs> and then I said, oh, wait, never mind. It's not that. Yeah, and then you said follow it and I like, Follow what? I said, yeah. follow what? <laughs> Uh, so, all right, let's go. Sparky, lead the way. And by, by that, I mean, but you make me don't trip over it. <laughs> nice. No, you are armed. Yes, but I meant I'm holding the stretcher currently. No, maybe. Probably not. What exactly are we following this year? Ah, a okay. couple of sprites. Oh, okay, that's better. You don't need the light anymore. Do you need the torch? Well, they can't see in the dark. What do you expect them to be able to see? No wonder we got lost. I always forget you can't see in the dark. Everyone always forgets. How, how bright is I the wonder why. Yeah, because you don't tell us. You don't mention it. You guys know I can't see in the dark. Yeah, but you just keep leading with confidence. That's because you keep telling me to do so. <laughs> What's like a sense, though? We, we already have this dark sense, so we don't really think about it even not have. It's like if someone, you didn't have a sense of smell or something. It's not something that they don't think To about. be fair, gnomes normally can see in the dark. Yes. <laughs> Lucille does not know this. Yeah, I just feel like, you know that most gnomes can see in the dark. Like, it is a very common thing for gnomes to do. Yeah, but they don't think about it. Yeah, they're not like that. Yeah, they don't think about it. Yeah, they don't think about it. I don't know why you can't see in the dark. What? <laughs> well, you brought them to the city, right? Maybe that's fine. Well, then, then my mid might be like a little. I don't know what your ballad line is, and that's just a very sensitive topic to ask. I think it's called Mum, Dad, Me. Actually, do you have any knowledge medicine? Like, do you have medicine? Uh, no, but I've lost small folk. No, no, it'd be specifically... Medicine? Um, a medicine. I do. <laughs> do you? I'm no, trained I in medicine. Don't. And yet you're just leaving? <sighs> oh, wait, no, no, I've just got a plus three to wisdom. <laughs> I am dark. <laughs> oh man, I cannot wait until you guys find out, like, somebody trained in medicine and you bring it to their attention. <laughs> I was like, this is very strange. Let's have a look at your eyeballs. Like, just that my eyelids completely and just start probing my eyes. It's like, ow, ow, ow! Yeah, I, do, I don't know. You'd have to ask a cleric. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that thing that she's never going near in her entire life ever. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's like not voluntarily. Yeah. Or consciously. Mm. Anyway. Alright. So. Well, I guess I'll just the plan? So, what are we doing? You said that we're all following the sprites. Yeah. Why? Because you said that we should. Oh, yeah, okay. Do I think that's a good idea? <laughs> Lucille, have you hit your head again recently? <laughs> I did get bitten by a giant flower. Did you drink some? Ah, 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 ah. I don't think so. I mean, you'd be like them if you were anything, gonna be anything. You'd be a bit stiff. But. <laughs> 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 say that because that always ends badly. That's... <laughs> I mean, as far as I can see, there's two options. You either follow the sprites or just turn the fuck around and go back. Yeah, no, we could follow the sprites. Why not? What's the best that could happen? They paralyzed. Oh, that is a good idea. <laughs> is uh, it? Is it? Uh, is the sprites dangerous? What do I know about sprites? Do you have any knowledge nature? Absolutely. Probably don't know much. They're very yeah. pretty. Okay. Yeah, they yeah. usually look pretty pretty. Do we have any? With us? No. No, as in the other elves. Do we uh, keep them? The Aether elves would probably keep some, yeah. As a little. As like decorations, yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah, as far as you know, they're basically used for decoration. You keep them in lamps. Yeah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I love a new lantern. Let's go. <laughs> it's so nice. <laughs> so I guess I. Cautiously lead the way through to okay. where I last saw them, which right. is in the dark. Oh, I don't need my sword. 
that. You don't need your sword. Oh, right. Anyway. So you're going to lead them down the path? I will try. Right. It's not hard with the torch on. I can see, kind of, now. You can, and it's a fairly straightforward path. This is weird. Wait. I don't know what I'm looking at. You can have a look at the map if you want. Nah, I was looking at the map. This is like, where are we? Oh, no. I can't see map. anything else. I don't know where we are. This map. Oh, this map. That's my shape. Yep. Ah. I would like to oh. aid Hender with his survival using yeah, my knowledge it's... of the stars. Yeah, if you want. Mm-hmm. Would you like me to roll survival? I would. 23. 21. So, plus another one. 22. 22. Yeah, okay. So, basically, you guys make your way all the way down here and get to basically here. Oh, transitions. I was just holding a map. I want to go for a swim. (gasps) Wait, no, I definitely don't want to swim. I can't swim. The name of the place is called Fay Grotto. Fay Ghetto, oh! I... And this is what you guys would see. Sparkle. It's like, ah, cool, it's pretty. It is so pretty. God, take some of that water home with you. Don't you mean... <laughs> <laughs> I know what I said. <laughs> the man knows what he's about. Looks magic. Just, just Do dunk me in. Touch. <laughs> no, he's not. Um, he's not if, swimming. At this point, you would basically stop and tell everyone else to stop. You're like, oh, yep. hold. Don't worry, though. Do not go in there. Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> You're like, yep, that's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. If only we had a diplomat of some sort. Uh-huh. Yeah, you would have done perfectly. <laughs> I'm not being sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> Just take a bit first. Yeah. <laughs> you still feel normally like gnomes. Well, they but, hate them less than they do the rest yeah, of I us. I look around at everyone else. This is like, uh huh. Yeah, gnome, 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 gnome. Wait. <laughs> You guys know how Fae operate? Yes. Good. No. Oh. <laughs> no, not really. Uh-huh. Is there a, a distinct line in between where we are and where the rest of this grotto starts? You're basically standing on it. Uh, I think I'll drop the steps back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> see how... Yeah, there's sort of like a... Where the trail just... There ends, there's sort of a line, mm-hmm. and then you can see with the grass where the trail ends, it gets much lusher. Yep. And you're just like, yep, that's, that's, mm, we're not stepping over that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> not unless we want to, um, mm, yep. It's like, no, you need an invitation. <laughs> uh, not that you should accept <laughs> at the point. It's like, look around, do there appear to be any fey present? You can see lights around the big tree that could be sprites, but it's hard to tell from here because they appear to be like up in the branches and like the tree itself is maybe 60, 70 feet tall. So, you know, they're up amongst the branches itself. So, you know, it's hard to tell from down here. Okay. But Can't see anyone, but that doesn't mean very much. I'll be honest, I'm out of my depth here. Um, what about Faye? You said if we know anything about her, and I don't, so are we going to continue on that? You mean, was I going to explain? Yes. <laughs> it's an option. I know uh, if the elves and the Fae haven't had much in the way of dealing, something always goes wrong, that's all. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> don't know why, though. They keep talking about Shosh. Yeah, that sounds about right. I can't imagine why. Yeah. Yes, so I don't have any protocol here in 
how to even talk with them. Ah, that's a good place to start, by not talking to them. (laughs) I mean, you're not wrong. Do they not do verbal communication? Or Um, is it more like a hand gesture? (laughs) How do I explain this in a way that... You don't. (laughs) Can I explain this is probably a better question. (laughs) I wish I could remember the words of my mum. It would probably be at this point you'd hear, well, if you like, I could probably explain it for you. No, bollocks. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, that'd be helpful. (laughs) Who said that, by the way? You don't see anyone. All right, where are you? So I know where I'm looking in the right direction. Wait, is it up? You heard it coming from off to the left. Do we all hear this? Or... Yep. Oh, so they spoke common? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Look to the left. I see Azula. I turn my head this way so I can see past her. Crap, I'm looking at Kakaram. <laughs> yeah, I've put down my end of the uh So now it's just on this thing. unfortunate <laughs> angle. <laughs> so it was like I put down my end and I pulled out a book and I'm just doing some sketches of the grotto. <laughs> so my feet are up, my head's down. <laughs> Occasional giggles, and like, all the blood just slowly <laughs> rushing to your head. Yeah. <laughs> just, like, no, oh, this is gonna happen. I look past. Yep. Can I see anyone past? Nope. <laughs> can't see shit. Like, can't tell that far. It me. sounded like it was coming from like over here. Just like point past the right. So I've heard it come from my left. I look just directly ninety degrees to my left, and yeah. I was like. I can't see anyone. I also go to look. <laughs> Don't see anyone. Dark vision doesn't help with this. Nope. Just put this <laughs> you would know. Like, the chances are that they're probably invisible. Like, Faye can just invisible because that's how they work. Yep. You've done that thing where we can't see you, haven't you? Oh, of course. All right, that's fair. (laughs) (laughs) It's good. For a second, I was worried that it was all in our minds. Like a magic user. Well, of course it's all in your mind, dear. Technically, every observation you make in life is all in your mind. I meant with magic. Oh, see? She gets it. Exactly. Did you know that you're just a squishy ball of meat floating around inside of a skeleton That's driving true. a fleshy meat puppet? False. Brains are not made of meat. That's what you think. No, I, I am a soul. I am a spirit in this vessel. <laughs> ting, ting. Ow. That's what you think. <laughs> what is said from our God? <laughs> Which one? None of them. <laughs> oh, how quaint. What god do you follow? God. Well, me. I'm deity, the god. being, and the power. You wouldn't know their name. Anyway, why don't you all give me your name? Don't <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely not. That is my name. You cannot have it. Huh. Oh, what? Can't we oh, say Lucille. <laughs> <laughs> I don't smile, but I can't help it. Oh, well, can't say our names. No. You can't say your names. Did you just say that? Well, that is the name that people call me. Aren't you a smart one? No. <laughs> Fuck. I took a test. The answer is no. <laughs> I'm not smart. My mother had me tested. <laughs> Can I roll a society check to see how best I should behave in this situation? By all means. It's plus eight. Uh, That's a 20 total. 20 total? Normal societal rules would say that you should probably be, you know, forthcoming and give them 
what they're asking for because that would be best to, you know, make good diplomatic. Yeah, yeah. Like, oi. Combined with my fey knowledge, for fey. <laughs> <laughs> You asked for society. I'm giving you a name. I know, like... them what they can call you, mm-hmm. which is not your name. Yes. You can call me K. 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 Ah! Ah! <laughs> you can call him the uh uh one. Okay. Just from underneath the flower. Birth name. You just can't give the birth name. You do not give them your real name. Your true name, do not give them that. Because they will keep it. And then it's not yours anymore. Mm. I may be going off a bunch of fairy stories that Lucille has made up in her head. <laughs> the actual your, fairy tales. <laughs> that your mother told you yes. for a very good reason. Yes. That I don't realise are actually real. Yeah. yeah. Would you care to give us your name? <laughs> That's a no. <laughs> you can call me when. Yeah, uh, what's when on? What? Just when. Okay. Ah. Everything just went silent. I'm not sure what's going on. No, We're fine. just looking to you. You're the expert on this. How am I the expert on this? Because you're the one that's part of A. Yeah. They assume. Yeah, they assume. <laughs> well, hello, Wen. It is a pleasure to... <coughs> Hear from you. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Or so I'm told. Told by whom? <laughs> princess works for us. Yeah, you can call her princess. I don't know Is she actually a royalty? <laughs> She's an Aether Elf. She might as well be. We don't have royalty. <sighs> she keeps saying that, but we're not sure she's telling the truth. She's not a part of their community. She was exiled. <laughs> call her Exile. That works. Actually, yeah. We, call her the Exiled Princess. <gasps> the Runaway Princess. <gasps> the Runaway Princess. I like it. Cool. Alright, run away. <laughs> That's a good name. It is oh. a good name. No, it's not. That's what I'm going to call you. <laughs> Damn good name. It is. So, what brings you all to our grotto? Uh, the map. The map? Yeah, we got lost. <laughs> you got lost and you ended up at a fake grotto. I don't know. Well, normally it's that's how you get here, is you get lost, right? No, that's not usually how you end up at a fair grotto. No, I heard some bells and then they were sprites went down the path and turns out... <laughs> Should have taken that left at Albuquerque. <laughs> <laughs> that was the map still upside down. <laughs> oh, so you don't know anything oh. about... <laughs> everything you just said about me. Yeah, no, I don't. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm so I'm like, you don't know any of that. <laughs> We don't know that you're a princess. Well, think you're a runaway. That I run away or that I'm not allowed in that country. You don't know that. So everything <laughs> was just said was... I was just making assumptions because you said you left after there was a... Yeah, you told us a bunch of stuff while your character was drunk. Pretty sure it was yeah, a failed yeah, but coup. All, all we know... I didn't say any of that. Is yeah. that you left after there was a dispute over trying to stand up for some slaves. There was a protest. Uh, yeah, that's right. Country. Yeah. You spent Another. everything, gave up everything. I gave up everything. That That's exactly what I said, but nothing more. Yeah, so all of that is just my assumption based off what you've said. If you're an Aether Elf, why would you be out here in the woods slumming it with us unless there was a reason you couldn't be at home? So you are either exiled or You are away. talking about the most intelligent person in the group. Uh, all right, I accept it. <laughs> <laughs> and Lucy likes to make shit up. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when they say it's grinding my gears. Yeah. Oh, sure. yeah. <laughs> None of this is based on actual knowledge. This is just based off those little bits you gave us. Okay. Anyway. 
forgot what we were talking about. So, what the hell are you doing in her grow? Oh, yeah. We got lost. Mm. And it looks like somebody else got a little bit, uh... Bit. Bit? I, mm, is it really bit when it's like a swallowed hole? Uh, so giant mouth plant. In our garden. Yeah, crackers over here is a bit paralyzed. Yeah, I can see that. What were you doing in our garden? Again, getting lost. Why are you in the woods getting lost in the first place? We were asked to go and check out a place that's down here somewhere, but they also said these other places are of interest to check them out too. I think. It's been a while. Something like that. And we saw some Basically. cool plants. We were after a waterfall. It's yeah. also a dragon. dragon? That was... Or a very big animal. Oh, Flying yes. through the sky. Yes. Mm. So, hang on. So, roll the map out on the ground. I don't go any closer. Okay. So, right, so we were... Where the hell were we? We were here. Okay. We were camped here. No, wrong way. There. Mm. And uh, middle of the night, big flying, flappy, winged thing. Okay. We're doing laps around. And then I trace out whereabouts. I vaguely remember it. Passing over the mountains, over where we were, etc. No worries. And we figured maybe we don't want to quite go and potentially run into a dragon at the moment, so we ended up going a little bit further north. I think. Well, I can tell you there's no dragons in these areas. What the hell did we hear? It was probably a giant eagle. Oh. Oh, well, that's also. Awesome. There's a flock of those in the area. Hmm. Is that something we used to ride? Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> but apart from that, that'll be about it. Right, so where the hell are we then? We were here. And then we were where, there. where are the giant plants on the map? There. You'd see a little flower bloom on the map. Ah, oh, that's helpful. <laughs> You're about there. Ah. Thanks. Wait, is that where we are now or is that where we were? It's where you are now. Ah. Uh, Way off target. Oh me. I mean Daisy, I'm not worried about the horse. Uh, why do we always forget that you can't see in the dark? <laughs> and yet you're the one leading us. What do you mean she can't see in the dark? Oh yeah, can't see in the dark. You're a norm. Yeah. How's this broken? <laughs> yeah. What do you mean broken? Well, she can't see in the dark. Apparently, gnomes can see in the dark. Yes. I can't see in the dark. You, 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 what? Yeah. Huh? Oh, where am I looking, by the way? Am I looking at you right now? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> I can't see facial expressions on an invisible person. You know. <laughs> and at this point, you'd see that you'd, there'd be like a shimmer and there'd be like uh, a moment where the image, like the illusion drops and you would see. Well, those of us looking the right way would see. <laughs> <laughs> They've got you angled so you can, uh, are your eyes paralyzed too? Well, I put this a flower over his face. <gasps> Minus the bow and arrow. Is it a fairy? She's beautiful. It's, yes, it is a, a fairy. How big? I would like to know. Uh, about probably foot and a half, two foot. Could we also have pet fairies? No. Okay. No, you do not have pet fairies. Okay. They will fuck your shit up. <laughs> Does she look familiar? No. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> have I seen one in our zoo before? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Fairies are far too intelligent to be caught by the dead folks. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's good to know. Cool. Just. Yeah, no, you don't do that. And as you start no, to draw... No, okay, okay. Like, I... I just tear up the page that I started sketching. No. Put it on the ground. Like, yeah, okay. as, I, as you put it on the ground, it just bursts into flames. Uh, What's wrong with you? 
Oh, many things. <laughs> well, I can tell that. So I've been told. But what's wrong with you? Be more specific. <laughs> You're missing something. Yeah. Boy, shitface, come out here. <laughs> I got this. She fills a hole. Physically and the other one. No. Wait. Emotionally? Yeah, sorta. Of. No, but you're missing something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, no. What happened to your sister? Don't. What? Don't want to talk about that. Okay, no worries, but what happened? She. Nothing. Shh. She's been very quiet and tears in the eyes and then nothing. Nothing that I want to talk about until I feel tears. <laughs> I A little bit. Okay. Here. Nothing. See, I can't tell I just rub my eyes. I'm going to like slowly. <laughs> I know you're gonna react so bad. But like, just slowly. Ah! Like, don't make a big just deal out of that. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Sidestep. <laughs> okay. With that, she just sort of flutters up. And you'd see a bunch of sprites basically just appear. Yeah! Oh! Yeah. oh um, no, we don't have to worry about them. They're not the ones that did it. Or at least they're not involved. Did what? Involved in Stole what? our queen. Oh, that sounds horrible. It's complicated. I imagine it would not be an easy feat. It's a... Why? Miss Grasby, go get Cinemora. And you see one of the sprites just sort of curtsy and flies off towards the tree. Lucille. What? Have a smoke. No. <laughs> okay, leave your face looking like you have feelings. Alright, good. <laughs> Where the fuck's my dog end gone? Other ear. Alright. Oh, Light. You'd see. <laughs> no, you'd see like that. If I do it like this, I burn my nose. <laughs> <laughs> um, a moment later, the sprite would return, and with her. You would notice a dryad. <laughs> what do we know about these creatures? Tied to a tree in the forest. As in they're attached, it's part of them. Part of, they're literally tied up. So, <laughs> literally t- no. so they're magically bound to one tree in the forest. Okay. They can only go a certain a distance from them before they, basically, if they go too far away, they, within about a day, they start to die. What do we know about fairies, too? Uh, fairies are basically fake traditions. They basically come and go and do whatever the hell they want. It's like, all right. <sighs> may we please come in? <clears throat> you may. Thank you. We may just send you the I said we. Okay, great. Was I talking about all of us? I don't know. They'll... Was I talking about all of us or just me and the rat? Oh, I was being kind. <laughs> 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 Alright, so if you like, I will allow you a treat. Just. Let me come in. Yes, nobody moves. <laughs> it's like slowly step over the threshold it, into the lush area, making sure not to squish any of the flowers and etc. There's no flowers there. Alright. Yeah. I'm still careful where I step. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So. Yeah, I'm grabbing. <laughs> Cameron. I would like to confirm that your invitation included the rest of us. Yes. And there is no payment required yet. Is there an assumed payment later? No. Okay, I'm just checking. Just checking. I have hall. I have hall. Do you understand that? I don't need to. Okay. 
I'm just like, just. I'll like, I'll come up and stand next, like just pump it down, come up, stand next to you. You got this. It's like rising panic. Oh no, what have I got? Do I have responsibility? I don't know. I don't know. I'll just, I just I insert whatever I think would be an in, a comforting term for Lucille. You know, like without just calling you a bitch in front of the sprite. Oh no, go with what she knows. <laughs> you are the best, best asshole I've ever met. Yeah. Don't you forget about it. I'm confused. <laughs> I don't know anyone who could shit on people the way you do. That's not very <laughs> much. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? What would... <laughs> Your pancakes are burnt and you'd swear like a sailor. Those aren't very nice things at this moment to say. It's fine, don't worry about it. <laughs> Thank you. What? 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 I mean, ah! <laughs> Sorry. What? I used the wrong time. You <laughs> 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 just turn on the people. Small people confuse me. I'm sorry we don't all want to just sit in a circle and braid each other's hair and talk about our feelings. Oh, I'd cut out pieces of our tongue and stitch them into someone else's mouth. Hey, nobody does that. Actually, I don't mind. The wood elves do that. But nobody does that. <laughs> I don't know what you said. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, we had to cut out our tongues and lick things. Mm, I don't mind licking things, but only with my own tongue. Just grab someone else's severed tongue and start wiping them. Yes, but then that person owns it, not you. No, it's fine, don't worry about it. No, they're dead. What could possibly go wrong? I own their tongue, and therefore whatever it licks belongs to me. That's I like how you stopped talking in character, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, don't worry about it. What could possibly go wrong? Alright. Yes. Alright. Lucy, I understand right now that um, you had emotions. Uh, no, I don't. Crying was there. You don't need to hide it. Crime was not there. Crying. Oh, okay. Was there? Yeah, um, where? But is there anything um, I shouldn't do? Like I really need to touch that model or the tree <laughs> oh. or go in that beautiful fairy ring of it. But should do I not, not do that. <laughs> Choose trying to find out the best way to come for Lucille. Like, I really want to give you a hug or like ask if you're okay, but it's like, no, I want to touch stuff. Can you get over your feelings now and give me instructions? <laughs> I, I know you're having a hard time, but I really need you to tell me what I can and can't touch right here. <laughs> so, this is not my place. You do not ask me permission about that. I don't know. It seemed like you knew things, knew things about you, and so I'm like, are you sure you're not familiar with each other? I know we're not always completely honest with each other. We don't know each other that well yet. Uh, I'm waiting for the end of the question. Uh, just so you don't know each other. Yeah, we know each other. You mean like a fairy? Yeah, we, we just met. We know each other. Previously. That's when I'm Lucille. <laughs> yes. Uh, right. It's fine. I just won't touch anything. Ah. <laughs> Do you think they can help with Catherine? You know they're right there. You're literally standing in front of them and pushing. I don't know the etiquette of that walk then. Because whispering in front of people is always the polite etiquette. <laughs> Lucille's not whispering. You can see that there's like audience. a bunch of sprites just like hovering in like the air behind. Like you guys just like giggling. Yeah, no, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm looking at them, up. not at this. Yeah, like, like, just, wait, do they understand us? It's like, <laughs> just ah, when's just like standing there looking at your <laughs> dead hand, like of course they understand you, you fucking moron. I just they were sprites. How could they not? <laughs> I, I look up and just goes, like, "This is all very silly, isn't it?" What do you mean? Can they understand you? Oh no. Uh, ha, Do you... uh, what? I... I thought they were just beings of light. I huh? <gasps> Do... Do you not understand that sprites are like... They're people. Living, thinking beings. Oh no. 
So oh, shall no. I let this one go? It pulls away to have a bad oh, back. No. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> So you, you don't understand that all those sprites that you have in those little lanterns in the capital are thinking creatures? Or do you just think that they're there for fancy show? I thought they were just little magic. Oh, okay, no worries. You can go sit down over there, little princess. <laughs> and you wondered why we call you the demon enslaver when we first met. And oh, the demon, that's a much better name. <laughs> Oh. We'll sit over there, demon enslaver. We'll get to you in a minute. <laughs> oh, I, I, I totally forgot about that. <laughs> she's not a demon enslaver. She's a sprite enslaver. As far as I know, she's never enslaved a demon. I, no. Not yet. Well, if she's working yeah. for Zandayare, you never know. <laughs> That's one of them. <laughs> I'm so... Zenve Ara does not have anything to do with demons except defeating them. And... Seems like that. I well, have... a lot of things to do with demons then. I lived a very privileged life, I know that. You lived a very privileged life. Apparently <laughs> so that too. <laughs> oh, well, that, 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 that's a good one. I like that. I am trying to... How many did you have sins. in your mansion? Didn't, didn't ever count? No. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Was it the mansion or the sky castle? Let's go to the castle. Wow. Ooh, that's um... Uh... They make lovely chandeliers though. <laughs> I'm not saying this. <laughs> yeah, I think it's well, it's a good thing that you can't talk. Well, I'm in deep horror right now. Yeah. Oh, it's a good thing, thing you can't talk. Yes. Uh, did, did you never wonder why we were so horrified to meet you? And Well, I knew that. We kill your kind on sight uh, when we're in the capital. So yes, of course I understand why you would not like my people. Anyway, maybe we should move on to less... Problematic topics. Yeah, sure. Uh, wh your queen was kidnapped? <laughs> you checked the castle. <laughs> your princess is in another castle. Right, I have a question. Yes. Who's the lady? This is Sinamora. She's standing in whilst the queen is away. Right. She just sort of stands there and looks really uncomfortable. <laughs> right, okay. This looks like a job for us. Does it? Uh, Deputy, take notes. We are um, really in a position. Uh, ah, no. Uh, also, we are claiming jurisdiction in this, this is what case. Looks like. <sighs> but, but she does not look determined in any fashion. She's basically just standing there with her hands behind her back, just like. Looking at the ground like really meekly. Yes, this is my life now. Um, she basically looks like a ten-year-old. Like she's got the physique of like a full-grown adult, yep. but she's got the demeanor of a ten-year-old that doesn't really know what they're doing. Um, you get the impression that she was probably being taught how to do the job yep. by the queen, and she something's happened. Obviously, she's been sort of thrown into the position to take over whilst whatever's going on, going on. Mm. So. They're, they're talking about the dragon. Yeah. No, like a, a tree leg. Who are you talking to? Oh, Foxy has questions. Oh, right. Oh, damn it. Oh. oh no, I can't ask her that. You go ask her. Just lift my hat and then Foxy just sort of pops their head out and just like starts looking around. Like, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Foxy's a the dry just looks at you terrified. Foxy just kind of like meekly kind of comes out and like flies out. It's like, what do you mean there's a person made of a tree? <laughs> like, just kind of like. Gently kind of like 
this seems fairly normal. Had Slash flies over to look at the woman like... <laughs> when just sort of stands there and just, oh, this seems fine. The dryad is terrified. <laughs> what do you mean a flying fox? Foxes don't fly. Is the like, flying fox fake? No. no. Oh, okay. No. No. The fly, if, if anything, the flying fox is a fire spirit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Foxy doesn't think of that because, no. like, Gosh, they're so used to the desert. Yeah. What do you mean there's a tree person? So Foxy kind of, like, flies over to her and sort of, like, lands on the ground in front and just kind of, like, pulls at her pats just sort of like, to, to the foot, just, like, 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 can, 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 I, can I pat her? Did you pat her? Hey. She's just staying there frozen. Day and night, the tree dies. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Cinemora, you are free to go back into your tree. She just sort of stands there, not moving. Does she take orders from you, or is she in charge now? She's in charge. Right. That's kind of how it works. Okay. How should we approach this? Oh. Precursor, by the way. I'm professional now. Taking on my role as uh, official forensic investigator of the Arnwick City Guard. Town Guard, close enough. Very Dealing good. with missing persons, cases, etc. That That's not important. The, the child we said was outside of jurisdiction doesn't mean you don't do the right thing. Yeah. We're on another mission. Alright, whose jurisdiction is this then? I point at the tree lady, <laughs> like Lady Cinnamore. It's like, whose jurisdiction is it? Do the Fae usually deal with Fae matters? You tell me. Um, uh, at this point, Cinnamore just sort of snaps at her and she just sort of, Glowen, I give you permission to act on my behalf in this instance, and just turns around and jumps back into the tree. <laughs> she just sort of. <laughs> she just, okay. Don't right. worry. I didn't understand what she said when she said your name. Well, now that the formalities are out of the way, um, yeah. let's make this formal. Right. I would like to hire your group. Yes. For the purposes of finding and returning uh, Queen Amorpha. Sorry. Amorpha, Queen of the Western Slopes. Oh, that's much bigger. <laughs> I'm making notes as per your request. All right, well, I'm actually writing this down. Okay. <laughs> From wherever she's been taken, and return her back to the grotto. As payment, you will be allowed free entry and exit from the grotto. I will unparalyze your companion. Would that be before or after we retreat? Before? That would be most beneficial. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that might be the case. And I'll also grant you... Three wishes. Your rock that you've come to collect. Okay. As payment up front. Is that how we do things? I don't know if that's how things get done. I didn't understand that. Say it again, but slower. I think he said we want to take the rock. <laughs> Close enough. It's <laughs> like. I'm so sorry, this is going to sound very rude, but this does not sound like how I normally would expect a Fae to offer a deal. This sounds very in our favor. Mm. What? Where is the catch? Mm. <laughs> to be quite blunt, there isn't one. <laughs> Where we cannot survive here if we don't get the queen back very soon. Okay, so 
So you'll need to go. Okay. And we can't exactly leave the grotto. Okay. My well, Cinnamore can't. Mm-hmm. She's tied to the tree, unlike the queen. Okay. Alright. And I can't leave the grotto because Cinnamore's not strong enough to defend it by herself. Yes. Mm-hmm. That is better. There is no other sprite strong enough to find the queen. Mm. And to be honest, I don't really trust anyone else. You're about the only person that I would trust given what I've seen in there. I'll have one. <laughs> I look down. <laughs> oh, it's just oh, it's just the rats looking at face straight up, is it? Oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I assume she's talking about the rat. <laughs> I know she's not. No, I don't. <laughs> she's talking about the rat. To be fair, I don't trust anybody else. It's only really you. Nah, but well, then I am suited for this job. Yeah. Would we have your trust if we complete this mission? No. Maybe. No, oh, it's close. All right. Time to ask the official questions. Yes. Um, uh, I hope. Uh, what uh, happened? To the Queen, what clues have we got? Better yet, when did this take place? About how long ago? Two weeks prior. Ooh, alright, that's quick. <laughs> Pardon me. Time of day, approximately? Mm, sometime in the night. We don't really know exactly when. Sometime late. Late night, early morning. We're not too sure. Wait. I wish I could read my own handwriting. <laughs> yeah, I know what that says. Probably. Literally. Whereabouts was she when she was taken? Uh, we believe she was somewhere near the tree. Within the grotto? Yes. Okay. Silly question. Has the area been picked over, disturbed, etc.? <sighs> yes. Okay. We searched. Alright. The only evidence we could find was there appeared to be some kind of odd desecration. Alright. Can you you show us? Yeah, come this way. And she takes you around the other side of the tree. And there's a patch in the grass about maybe two and a half, three feet wide perfect circle where the grass is just completely dead and the ground has been blackened does this that's a dumb question <laughs> <laughs> yes I can take a look over it and see what there's in it all right thanks um, do you have any extra information about this before I do it doesn't look like anything that we know of she have any enemies that we should be considering? None that... None that would do anything like this. I mean, all Fae have enemies, but... No obvious choices. None that would openly do something like this. Mm-hmm. Uh, has anything like this ever happened before? No. no. Detect magic? Yep. First of all. Um, Doesn't really come up with anything. Oh, and I got a 19 to recall knowledge. Unless you want me to do a specific check on like knowledge arcana or occultism. Actually, detect magic with your recall knowledge and knowledge arcana. Because mm-hmm. they're both plus eight, the yeah. recall knowledge and the knowledge arcana. You can just lump it all in one if you want. Yeah. It would be giving off a similar sort of vibe to the cave. It's not identical, but the it's got the same sort of vibe to it. Like the corruption stuff, not the necromancy icy cold stuff. Sort of yeah. like the obsidian. Yeah. No, no. Two weeks ago in our timeline, when was that for what we were doing? I think we were on our way back to Alnwick from the cave. Oh, two weeks ago. So we had to be no, two weeks ago, you would have been just leaving Alawick to come to here. 
Okay, it was so about a two week journey to get from Alderwick to Warren Point. Okay. okay so we oh, actually, no, it would have been part way from Alderwick to Iron Point because you've been up the mountain, yep. back down, and out here. So maybe just after going all the stuff that happened at um, Ashbourne. Ashbourne, yeah. Mm-hmm. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> down and just brush the grass with my fingers. The mm-hmm. dead grass, does it feel any different to... The, the grass that's on the edge has this very odd brittle... As you brush over it, you watch some of it just sort of crumple and like like blows away in the wind. Alright. Like brush it down towards bare earth. Mm-hmm. Is there anything underneath? Like any ritual circles or patterns? There's or no ritual circle. But you can see trace bits of that obsidian. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. You got like, there's not the same bits that you got in the ritual circle, mm. but you can see, like, tiny little bits of obsidian. We got a spare vial. Not a sec. No, not a sec. Um, um, actually, don't you have vials? Actually, yeah. Um, You've got vials, like, for days, don't you? I have you? three glass vials for reasons. Yeah. No, I was going to say, like, I'm pretty sure you two just have vials. Yeah. The one is filled with dandelion poison. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. I'll uh, pull out, like, an empty potion bottle, just, like, press the digitation and make sure it's completely cleaned yeah. out. Just, and, like, take a soil, <laughs> literally take a soil <laughs> sample. Just start taking soil sample. Yeah. Well, okay. like, the fucking, they've, it's, <clears throat> and uh, I'd tell you as we're looking over, like, this is the same energy as what was in the cave. Yeah, looks it. Yeah. Oh, so obviously there's something bigger at play than the necromancer alone. You want to tell them about the the cave? Uh, I don't want to tell anyone about it. It's creepy as shit. Okay, you keep looking. I'll just right. Like, I'll you know, do a like w- like widening circle around, seeing if there are any tracks mm-hmm. or the like that lead, or maybe leading out. Mm-hmm. Um. Roll me a... One second. We are going to do... Three... Perception. Yeah, we'll do perception. Can people aid them? Yeah, if you want to specifically aid, but that'll take time away from you doing whatever it is you're doing with the soil samples and... I can aid. Telling. You can aid him? Oh, I see. I don't know with them, I have. Well, you're still stuffed. Yeah. I got 20. You got 20? Are you waiting? Mm-hmm. So roll your perception. Just around. 19. So you get plus one. 21. 21. Can Princess Sparkles aid you? No. Because I can see the dark. So. <laughs> 21. Princess Sparkle still well, one whiff of the Well, the circle. sprites are coming to help, so they'll be giving you light off. They'll, like, mm-hmm. boost their natural light, so they'll be basically acting as torches. Yep. Um, <laughs> 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 Not lanterns, torches. Yep. <laughs> sad now. I'm just so sad when I look at them. <laughs> you mean they were all slaves? Well, yeah, I didn't... I yeah. freed them, too, in the rebellion. Uh, um, cool, so with the 21... <clears throat> I can assist. <laughs> I can still see stars. <laughs> still there. Um, yeah, so you wouldn't find anything. But that in itself tells you they didn't come in by foot. Yep. Um, because you would be able to rule out the fact that the sprites wouldn't have trampled any tracks or anything like that. Mm-hmm. So that tells you they didn't come in by foot. Or if they did, they were very good at covering their tracks. Yep. They didn't come in by foot. <laughs> Do many people know your location here? Uh, nobody we don't want to. So there's a short list? Apart from anyone that isn't Faye? 
No one really. Or an accident. Do you have a? <laughs> do you have a warding of some kind? Essentially, yes. Right, so they would have had to be quite powerful. Even from above. Yes, especially from above. What about below? Mm. Don't need them from below. Are you sure? Yeah, I think dagger. I think just that chipping away at some of the circle. You get down about maybe five feet and hit solid rock. That's a good digging. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So my dagger went real quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not digging a massive hole. I'm just yeah. digging down. Yeah. Under well, sorry, no, you wouldn't get down five feet. But so four, is that like yeah, two meters? <laughs> um, but you would hit like a bit of rock, maybe about that big. A solid piece of bedrock. Yeah, solid piece of bedrock. Okay. But they say that permeates the entire area. Was there any, uh, is it your queen who organised the warding here? Yes. And they didn't talk about any disturbances beforehand? Like no, maybe no. scrying on them? Okay. Although that doesn't mean there wasn't. Hmm. Oh, so she kept all of these things to herself? Mm-mm. But if the person that caught her was suspiciously powerful, yes. she might not have noticed. Mm. <coughs> yes, I felt that. I have some information that you'll probably want to know. Okay. Which I start telling them while they're looking around. Mm-hmm. Um, about what we've encountered, your issues with it. Um, the similarities between what was in that soil and I've still got like the one piece yep. of corrupt obsidian left. <laughs> Do you give it to her? I like, I, I would like it back. Yeah, yeah. 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 You hand it over to her and she picks it up. She sort of holds onto it for a second. It lives in a vial. She can take it out of the vial. Yeah, but even holding it in the vial, she sort of holds onto it. That is disturbing. Very. No, I don't think you understand. That is anathema. To you? I'm not surprised it is corruption. From what I understand, it is... And you say that has the same taste as whatever that is? Well, there are... Well, I pull out the dirt sample and sort of shake it, and I'm like, there are flecks of the same material in the dirt. Well, that would explain why she didn't fight back. Yes. She couldn't. And the being that... We got this from was a necromancer that we have already slain. That was using a particular material and ritual to do something with corruption. From what I understand, it is the theory is that it is a. Are you sure? What? Well, are you sure? That we slayed it. Are you sure that the necromancer was the one that was doing it all? Well, no. It's the one that we thought was, but if there is more going on, then there is obviously something... Well, you said you found a giant circle. Yes. I have pictures of it, if you would like to look. No, I don't want to look at it, but... She broke it. And then you killed the undead lord thing. Yes. That was creating the zombies. Yes. But what created it? Is there a bigger overarching evil we create? It looks like there's a that bigger That didn't region. create the circle, obviously. The, the zombie lord or whatever, the necromancer, you don't think he created the circle? Maybe. How would he have? Through. Unless he was already possessed and that's what we did it through him. Well, the baby was possessed by something. Bigger. All right, there was a possessed baby. I I just explain everything. I pull out my book with my notes and show him some diagrams and spend however long it takes to tell him the whole story. Uh, Sorry. Yeah, she just looks at you and goes, "This circle, (laughs) it was wouldn't have been created by that undead thing." 
it is what corrupted the undead thing, I'm guessing. Oh, of course. Oh, hang on, wait but a second. It wouldn't have been created by it. Wait, 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 wait. All the corpses mm-hmm. had varying stages that circle mark on their body. Yes. And the older ones had it more pronounced than the others. Yes. Which means that at some point, that thing would have grown up out of into that cage. Cave? Cave. And that guy probably just happened to be there and be affected by it. So you're saying that the ritual circle grew up? Yes. Into the cave? Yes. You don't think it was put there by something? Yeah, something underground. Well, that explains why they were hey, marked the zombies in the mine. Yeah, remember what's his name? Vikentiv. Yes. Yeah. Wait, was he the one that told us? No, it was Leonard. Yeah. Yeah, you know how Leonard told us that they'd lost a couple of the mines, and that's not really something that's ever really happened before. They wouldn't talk about and they've lost this one. Hmm. Possibly another symptom where it's spreading further. Uh, so the land is becoming corrupted. Mm-hmm. Mm. Or... No, there. magic circles don't just make themselves. Depends. No. That's what I thought. That's what are you saying? It grew up out of the ground. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Listen to me. You know nothing about magic. <laughs> Why you always do that? You make it sound like you know what you're talking about and like you're going to convince me of this thing and then I realize it's lunacy. It's my confident demeanor. You are very confident and it is very confusing. Yeah, but you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm not just... very bright. That's a lie. I'm... You're a ray of sunshine. Oh, yeah, She true. is a fucking ray of sunshine. I in am. Good words. Anyway. Something. Yeah. Um, do we have a deal? I have some more questions first. Uh, do you have more information on this? On what? On what I've told you? Uh, I got confused by her ramblings. You were I saying... have no information. I'm just telling you what I know about magic. Yes, please continue it. I've... I, that's where I tap out. Can you can you <laughs> just like go back and recap again? Because I got distracted by this weird tangent. Well, I told you that the undead lord thing couldn't have made the circle. Okay, yes. That's where I finish. Okay. All I know <laughs> is that I know that's, nothing. That's where I can... That's what I know. I'm not going to lie, I was kind of hoping they'd be like... So she only knows a little bit more than what we do. And we know nothing. <laughs> Congratulations. Well, we know that the threat that we thought we had erased is no longer erased. So <laughs> yeah, we didn't erase anything, we just... We stopped a symptom. Because uh, I thought the baby was just possessed by the weak, corrupt energies. Does that mean the baby was possessed by whatever made the circle? Well... No, the baby was possessed by whatever was left over after the circle was finished being used. But the circle wasn't finished, was it? Yes. Okay. Whoever was using the circle obviously had finished using it. Wait, so you think this was just a byproduct of whatever else someone else had done and then a necromancer stumbled upon it and then somehow became corrupted by it and then started making undead? You know, this conversation does sound very familiar. No. <laughs> I'm telling you that, was there a giant pile of bodies or something on the yep. circle? Yes. Yeah, that's probably how that lord thing came to be. It was a dead body on the pilot. Probably. <laughs> it's probably one of the first ones. And then he made more, somehow. Maybe. Oh, great, so he's like syphilis. Yeah, essentially. <laughs> yeah. I really need some downtime with the library. <laughs> um, so, I have a couple more questions about okay. the situation. Uh, what she learned, I know you said it was at night. Uh, what? Sorry, what was that? Was the queen alone when she was taken? Uh, it was, well, it was night time, but nobody recalls seeing her. Which is odd because she's never really alone. Right. Okay. Um, is there anyone else missing? No. Do people have a blackout of time? No. It's an inside job. Uh, is there anyone you're suspicious of inside the community? <sighs> no. We've checked everyone. Everyone.
one can account for their time. Mm. Nobody recalls losing. Simply she was there one second, and then at some point in the evening, and nobody can really pinpoint what time it is, she just disappeared. It was different for multiple of us. Right. <clears throat> so it was basically instantaneous. Right. We don't really know, and that's the... You're talking about Faye. We're the ones that do this shit. And it was done to us. And uh, when you checked over everyone, you Ooh. like their memories? Uh, I had a horrible and... theory. <laughs> Would you like to share it? No, but I will. What if one of these other circle things is around relatively nearby mm -hmm. and it happens to be one of the Fae who's being corrupted by it? Uh, Fae did that No, because we'd be able to tell if it was Fae to agree it wasn't. Mm -hmm. right. Well, that's a good point. Specifically, <laughs> it wasn't Fae to agree. Uh, do you know who else, what other beings would be able to do this? Nothing like this. Not just a powerful wizard? Um, well, it's extremely powerful wizards, yes. Right. But we're talking. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> <in it? laughs> I love it. I'm like, <laughs> like one in a hundred years. No, we're talking. One in a thousand. We're talking the council levels of wizards. Oh, we know a guy. Yeah, we're talking about bosses of bosses of bosses. Yeah, I'm talking about Wando. Yeah. Huh? You know Wando. I know Wando. Yeah. He might know something. He probably does. Do you have the money to pay for it? I'm certain we will. The money is not what he always asks for. It depends. Fair. Oh, fuck, is Wando Faye? Huh. Oh no, Wando's not Faye. Okay. What is Wando? Don't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Wando's not a suspect right now. Wando is, is Wando. Wando is a suspect. Wando's a suspect. Or a. Uh, I forget what the other word is. The person who helps you with your investigations. Look, all I know is that Floxy refers to him as the ancient one and said that That's he an accurate description, old. yes. Yep. So we go and ask Wando. <laughs> 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 Um, Where is Crazy Fairy explaining? What is our timeline before as really soon bad? as possible? He did say yes, you would be okay with getting some more of that black obsidian. I now have a little jar. Quick, let's get the rest of the soil. Wanda will want that. He may use that as trade for the information. <laughs> it's no use to us. The ground's dead. It's also bad. Yeah, it's not. I don't like it. I'm sure it would taste horrible. Yeah, how'd that heart taste, by the way? I never ate the heart. You licked it to claim ownership. Did I? Yeah. Uh, That's why I walked away. What did it taste like? Rotten pork. Oh, something. <laughs> uncomfortable. It tasted uncomfortable. No, it didn't taste like the worst thing I'd ever eaten. But it, the leak said that if I did eat it, it would be the worst thing I'd ever eaten. Okay. If that makes sense. Yes. Cool. You understand that, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so the timeline, I know as soon as possible, but uh, like when do things start getting very bad in this area? I think they already have. Cinemora can probably hold... Maybe two months at most. Okay. Oh, we are on a deadline. <laughs> and longer than that, and her power will start to eat away at her life force. Hmm. That's bad. That yes. Is really bad. Okay. Or we can start to shrink the grotto, but she probably won't accept that, and she'll start to just die. Mm, yeah. Is there any way for you to know if your queen has already? Really have to tell. Really have to tell. Yeah. Okay, so she's alive. Yes, she's Back. very much alive. Yeah, okay. that's the original question. Right. Can you sense the state of her being, like whether she's wounded or etc.? No, we're being blocked. 
whatever it is that took her also blocks us from being able to tell because normally we'd be able to tell where she is and how she's how she is mm-hmm. we can't tell where she is and we can't tell how she's feeling so whatever it is that took her is also blocking us from her. Uh, you said that you couldn't fight against this corruption for any particular reason. Because that stuff that mm. you've got is anathema to us. It basically counters us. Haley doesn't know what that word means. <laughs> it basically is the counter to whatever they are. So it basically it is the, the exact water. opposite. Yeah. Oh. So if it touches them, yeah. because like she was holding it through glass and it was basically sapping her power, Right. So whatever it was that they used, they used it to bind her, and apparently it's mm-hmm. basically just sapped her of her entire ability to do whatever it was she normally does. Ah, okay. That's you, that's at least the theory they're going with. Can you sense her presence across planes usually? Normally, yeah. Okay, so damn, that doesn't help. Okay. Mm. Do you have like a like a distance sense? Like, does it feel? particularly weak over long distances or strong over short distances there's no gauge of distance no it's literally we can't tell anything is it like she has just disappeared yes okay so your connection has basically just been cut no it's not cut it's like it's being blocked okay so you can it's as if you could feel your connection going to a wall so the connection is still there but there is a wall in front it's not that yes. the connection is gone it's just there is a distinct barrier yes okay thank you for clarification yeah. right. we can sense that she's still there mm-hmm. we just can't tell where she is or how she's feeling because normally that we can sense how she's feeling where mm-hmm. she is what she's doing sort of thing mm-hmm. but we can tell that she's still alive mm-hmm. okay can i do a knowledge check on a this information just try and work anything out with my sure. recall knowledge and the bits and pieces we've received. Sure. Ooh, that's one away from max. <laughs> that is a 27. No, 37. Sorry. What are you trying to <clears throat> I, I know what you're trying like I know what you said, but what are you trying to figure out? So I'm trying to work out if I know anything about the sort of magic that could be used, um, what it could be required to do this, and then the power level to do it. Um, any sort of like, so this person would have to have access to these sort of spells or this type of magic, or, you know, these sort of beings would be able to do this. You know, any leads based off the information that I can go, okay, well, filtering out all of the requirements needed to be able to do this what are the possibilities that we're looking for does that make sense Mm -hmm. so basically what you're asking for is access to my vault (laughs) (laughs) hey you want us to find your queen we need resources to do it I mean, I is that correct? I didn't intentionally mean it like that. I just was going. That's the my... way you were. Apparently, it was. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it. Give us in all the information, way. please. <laughs> no, no, no. Because that's basically what you said. You're like you using all the information that you have gained through this entire thing. You would like to narrow down the, the abilities. Yeah, like the kind of if it was you. <laughs> <laughs> you would like to put into the search engine all of these parameters and come up with what it is. No, no, with what the options are, you know, like yes. it's probably not going to be a beholder because we're not near water. No, no, know, no exactly like, right. Yeah. 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 Like I'm just. It's a of... good thing you got a critical success. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, like it doesn't have to be the one answer. It could be a couple of things. I know like, what you're, you know, I know what you're it, saying. It doesn't have evil energy, so it's probably not going to be a demon doing this. It doesn't have. <laughs> You, you know what I mean? Like, just sitting there going through my little roller decks of things powerful enough to achieve this. Yeah, I tuned out. I don't know what's going on in there. Versus <laughs> Basically, the evidence that she would like to access Pathfinder Google. <laughs> <laughs> I have a knowledge called Lawmaster Lore. It literally is Pathfinder Google in How a skill. How long would it take to use each individual aspect of that in order to fully comprehend 
each bit before going, no, it's not that, and moving on to the next one. It's going to take her a little while. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, it doesn't have to be right now, but this will... It's going to take you a little while to go through all those options. You're going to be sitting there for a little bit. Yeah. Faint How many days? No, 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 it's not going to take her days, yeah. but you are going to be sitting there for a little bit, just sort of pondering the answer. Cool. I will use my pocket library to add plus two. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so what's that, so, a 39? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, you need um, to 40. <laughs> can you do a knowledge religion check and I can ask you a couple of questions so you can aid me? I can do it. Yes? Please. I have knowledge warfare. Would you like me to do that too? You've got knowledge nature. No, I don't. I have nature as a skill. That's... It's nature as knowledge. I have nature as a skill. I am nature. <laughs> well, yes. Actually, I think it's the rat's fault for that, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Ask the rat! <laughs> 13 to help you. Unfortunately, that's not enough. No, ah, it's I'm cult. not helping Sorry. you. Okay. <laughs> no, that's alright. All good. But yeah, when I... Say I say things that you already know all of it. <laughs> yeah, when I get to a point where I feel like I've got a couple of, like, solid leads, I'll pull out a book to clarify some things towards the end. So I'll be like, alright, okay, um... Can you collect all of that soil so we can at least get it out of here? That stained area. I need to do some thinking. How does it feel when I touch it? Same as the when you were touching the circle. It's just that... This doesn't feel right. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't feel good. Cool. Um, um, just Scoop. It would be better if we had another set of hands. Do you think you would be able to unparalyze our yeah, just companion? <laughs> Faint snoring from the other side oh of the God. tray. Everyone just ditched me just so left. So Idiot, please don't hold us again against us. Okay? We're here to help. It would be so easy to take advantage of him. Please don't. Do we have a deal? Oh. To the best of our abilities. Yes. Honestly, that's all I'm asking for at this point. <gasps> Hopefully it's enough. Wait a second. What? Crystal. Feel in my pocket those, the, the, the three crystals. Three crystals? There would be three people that I have to help. Yes. Does one of them feel like this? Nope. What? <laughs> what? Damn, I thought this would totally be connected and this would be one of the... <laughs> I know exactly where you're getting those. Don't worry about it. But, yeah. No. Alright, so. But, uh, she like flutters over to you and holds out her hand. What is the kinds of defects? Everyone dies. What? 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 Yeah, shake. Shake it. And yep. there's like a little bit of like glow of glitter. There's like fuck glitter vines just wrap yeah. around and then yep. words are spoken. Yeah. Funny words that nobody else here really understands. <laughs> okay. See. So, see. So, I say the appropriate response. Yeah. In a Lucille manner. It doesn't actually really mean anything. No. It's just sort of gibberish. But that's the point. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going back to the kids. Um, as soon as you say the response, you can move again. So I'm just Are you asleep though? Uh, yeah, so you're fully asleep, and as soon as you can move, you just sort of. <laughs> so my, I'm just going from. Maybe we leave him, he's had a rough day. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Everyone did leave, he just left me in the middle of my arm. I guess I'll. Have it's bedtime, it's, it's fine. It's no. dark, I guess I'll just. Fuck it. I can't right. contribute at this stage. Do I feel anything when I touch? I haven't actually ever touched this thing. Um. The monkey grass. Yeah, the little corrupted things. Yes, you have. Have I? You've touched it with a sword. Yeah, with a sword. <laughs> yes, and the sword got very cold. So, which yes, what are you asking about this time? Hmm? What? So, I'm, um, yeah, I'm grabbing them. Do I feel anything either, besides them being cold? 
take to make you feel uncomfortable. Okay. Mm-hmm. I find like a, a, a nice looking seat position against the tree because um, you said that it'd be fine. So like mm-hmm. I take a seat and just kind of like pull out some of my books and like notes and stuff and like start running ideas past Floxy and just like making just what do the numbers mean, Mason? Furiously writing notes down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No worries. You're going to be there for a while. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so you feel uncomfortable touching the ground. Why is getting it all these so things. Than anyone else's? Mm-hmm. You're getting a bunch of little, like, oh. pebbles-sized bits of obsidian. Mm-hmm. What are you two doing? Are you still sleeping? I don't know, am I? Well, we're not waking you up. <laughs> roll me a, a um, uh, well, fortitude, isn't it? Here. Yeah, a let's, reflex let's save. go with a fortitude. Reflex on this. It's a reflex if he falls out of his stretcher. 18. Yeah, you're fine. And what are you doing for this? I think I was the one who was leading the scooping up process. Okay, no worries. Not using my hand, because I'm not a complete psychopath. Yeah. Me. Are you sure about that? Coward. Complete. <laughs> Not complete. Yep. Gotta no remove that taint. Pretty sure my only other tool is my sword, so I don't want to use that. You gonna use your shield? Maybe. Put it on, sure, but to dig it up. Just it turns out to Come, give me a kick, I'll pick it off, whatever. I do have cutlery, actually. You know what? I will use <laughs> that okay. cutlery. Of course <laughs> you have more like... for the eyes. This is my earth digging spoon. This is my least favourite one, so I'll use that one. My least favourite one is still gold, trim, and silver. <laughs> so I just don't like the shade of this diamond. It's <laughs> fake. It's a moist night. Anyway, yeah. so it takes you guys probably about half an hour to dig out this chunk of earth to the point where you get down to where it's no longer dead. Good. <clears throat> my fan, my fans, my hands feel weird. Mm, yeah, cold and numb. I'm like digging through my snow. snow. <laughs> <laughs> Did you though? <laughs> uh, what's it made from? Silver? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Would you trust Lucille with a silver spoon? It's her least favourite, so yes. Mm, just digging with it. It's like, how big is the head of the spoon? Big enough to deal with, apparently. It's a normal spoon. It's a soup spoon. It's very hu- uh, for me. How big is a normal spoon? <laughs> Not a soup spoon. Not a teaspoon. Is it a dessert spoon? Is it a fish spoon? No. Is, is it, it an oyster spoon? Is it a soup spoon? How can I know that Azula would know all those things? Um, <laughs> Half of those things we just listed don't exist. Oh, okay. I was like, what the fuck? At least a fish spoon doesn't exist. <laughs> oyster spoon. Oyster spoon. <laughs> like an oyster knife. I'll go a dessert spoon. Say, like, like, hold up the spoon, hold up my axe head. <laughs> nah. Just, what? Into the sack. Oh, you're just getting all the dirt. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I'm it's just like, like there, like picking through it. I've got a fork as well, picking through it, grabbing the pebbles stuff. So you're like a giant <laughs> praying mantis with cutlery, just kind of picking at <laughs> little bits of black obsidian. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I was scraping up everything. Yeah. Yeah. Remove all of the taint. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, just. Uh, so by this point, okay. you've probably nutted out of most. Hey, Wen, can, uh, I've got a couple of questions. Can you help me narrow down my little list here? The things and the stuff you've encountered. I am just going yeah, through the questions. Well, and then I see if he can help me <laughs> narrow it down a little bit more. See if he knows anything. She. She! she. You say Wen, and I just, I swear I've read a book where there was someone named Wen, and it was a male fairy character. Yeah, he was the eternally surprised. Okay. What about the character when the eternally surprised? 
Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I so she was no help. I might as well, like, it's literally a fairy. I don't know anything about their world. It's like, um... She's already told you it's not fair. Yeah, it's like, okay, well, so it's not fair. She doesn't believe it's fair. Yeah, so what sort of things can normally be required? But, and just yeah. get a bit of input. Yeah. So you guys have finished digging your hole. Digging up all of the stuff and put it into a sack. Or two. Or four. Just getting your vial and just putting the <laughs> Maybe you have, you at this point you would have made a vial of obsidian. Yeah. You're grabbing the big stuff and pebble stuff. pebble obsidian. Like pebble sized yeah. obsidian chunks. Yeah. I'm grabbing everything. I have a purpose with this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Scorch death policy. It's already it's a bit late for that. I mean, yeah, I mean you could use it to scorch the earth. No. The earth is pre-scorched. Just sprinkle it about. It's like salting the earth, but so much worse. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Mm. So, what's the plan from here? About what time is it? Well, it was like midnight. Night time, sometime at night when you guys got here. You guys weren't too sure, probably, what time you actually got here. Yeah. Um, it- no, I was just. <laughs> Are you alright with us sleeping in your, uh... Well, I mean, at this point, it's probably a moot point if you guys leave or stay. Okay. You know we're here. It would be a little bit rude if we just kicked you out at this point. Well, I don't know about that. Well, I was was worried if there are lingering side effects, staying this close to this amount of magic uh, for a little... For periods of time? Yeah. Good question. How do you feel about that being, you know, constantly exposed to large amounts of magic? Well, I don't know. Maybe we could talk to the destroyer. <laughs> what? Who? I don't know. The demon enslaver? What? what? Yeah. That this one. one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. My name is Azula. <laughs> <laughs> Roll me a perception test. <laughs> yep. That's a pen. Oh, 19. You see her smile for a second, and then she looks confused. And then it's gone. See, see they just go say. Reasons. Also, they don't want it here. I suppose it's fair. She lives in the capital of an entire magical civilization. I know. <laughs> Surrounded by fairies all the time. It's different magics. <laughs> Since the woman who had the it's castle lit magics. by fairy light. Yes, but it was. You have a halo living inside your head. You <laughs> told them your name. Yes. <laughs> I thought I was the stupid one in this group. You call people. You told them that you're named to you. No, I didn't. She, she told them actually. She said, no, what? just shut up. I'm trying to think. So that's a lot of yelling going on over there. I'm not going to think. Yes! Come on, baby. No, I'm Never trying mind. not to think. You just. <coughs> Ten little. I'm, sl- oh, I'm sleeping in a bed of flowers. <laughs> you are in fact sleeping in a bed of flowers. And you've been put down on like a cushion of yeah. like cushioned grass. Just. Oh, like, sorry. I was just assuming that 22 doesn't wake me up. God, no. <laughs> <laughs> they just rolled over and start spooning one of the giant se- uh, sunflower yeah. seeds. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> I want to help. I have ideas. Does this tunnel cross a ley line here? Of course. Huh? Are you across the ley line here? Well, of course. Okay. Oh, crap. That's right. I remember the thing. All the corruption points have crisscrossed with ley line intersections. What? So all the... All the points that we've figured out where bad... Etc. has gone on. 
based on the map we've got. Which is one so far. Two. Two. This one. Well, I guess that technically counts now, yeah. Oh, wait, it might be three. Oh, I don't know. The cave is probably not in this map. Maybe the cave. Because there was the dwarven mine. There's this place. And I'm assuming that the cave is probably a third. No. I am drawing straws with this one, though, just FYI. I said there's a dwarven mine would be a third. A straw one. No, we, we, we knew that the, that the mine was on a ley line because they normally put their mines on ley lines. Or was that the mine in Iron Point that we're thinking of? That was the mine in Ashbourne. Ashbourne as well. Was that on a ley line? Do you have a map? <laughs> we have a map, Happy. <laughs> that was a mystery mine, wasn't it? Which means it's usually on the mm. land that's in the middle. Not a magic thing. I'd say that Mithril was a ley line lost name, so yes. Well. That's my theory, and that's what I'm sticking to. Mithril <laughs> is. Usually. Sometimes. It's a rarer resource. <clears throat> so I know that one of the mines was on a ley line. I'm assuming it was the Iron Point one from memory. Is that correct? Which one was? What? Vigentiv told us that the Ashbourne mine was on the ley line. Did he? Yeah. This is an out of character question. It's been just so long since we've played. Yes, it. he did. Yeah. Yeah. Where are He said that all dwarven mines, especially with these ones, are built yeah. on a ley line, and that one specifically was too. Yeah. Oh. I well, do. Someone check the backlog of stuff <laughs> that we have done and let us know how wrong I am. <laughs> Haley oh, when editing. Oh, this is previous before that. I... You take notes. Uh, I do. <laughs> it's I, fine. I Don't have notes on all the episodes, but not particular notes like that. No, that's fine. I don't take notes anymore until I no. watch it. Because I can't do both. Those are just people. I actually don't have my My hard drive that has all my notes on it. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. From when I was examining it, was the cave on a ley line? Sure. What? It is now! You don't remember? Okay. Are you see, I'm also curious, what is that? It would make sense. Yep. Um, it's a sacred place. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, fun <laughs> oh, yeah. By all means, go in the mushroom circle. Alright, so, fun fact. Yeah, let's go with that. Fun fact about fairy rings, that's what it's called by the way, is that if you go in one uninvited, they make you dance. <laughs> that doesn't sound so bad. Uh, until you die. Fairies are very, very hardy when it comes to dance. Right. You ever broken a bone before? Your own, not someone else's. Yes, I have. Right, you know how much that hurts? Yes. And all your bones doing that and still going. No. Okay. <laughs> I choose not to. <laughs> I just, I'm just going to nod. See? Well, it's a lot like that. All right, when? Eh, don't probably go. a bit worse. Don't go so I'll go I mean, that's step one. Eventually, the bones just sort of turn to dust. Mush. Because they're wet. Well, yeah, I guess, because all your bones are wet. Yeah. Good night, guys. I'm going to go on the other side of the... Yeah. Uh, okay, Crown. You have a wonderful sleep now, Enslaver. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. This was in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wish I didn't sound like that. <laughs> I pray to an I mean, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you pray to an That sounds like something I would do. <laughs> Oh, Dwarven Runesmith, please get me out of this alive. <laughs> uh, okay. You're a good sport. I like you. I'm also a terrible person. 
You're not, though. Uh, I disagree to disagree. Wait. Uh, that's close enough. <laughs> I know terrible people. You're not. I've been around enough terrible people to know what that looks like. And I look at that. Uh, I look in the mirror, actually. So. I don't know what I look like. <laughs> Assuming it's bad. <laughs> you watch as see like, her form seems to shimmer a bit. Oh, God, like... See, uh, who's that? Ah, uh, who's that? Uh, <laughs> fuck, is that what I sound like? I guess. Ah, oh, shit. Uh. <laughs> As she just sort of takes a bit of a bow. Uh, uh, that's worse than I thought. <laughs> I look like a child. You still are, you fucking idiot. Yeah, 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 I know. Shut up to them. They don't know that. <laughs> are um, you sure about that? So you're sure about what? You just need to get the smell down, pet. Then you'll have it mastered. <laughs> you hear this buzzing sound. <laughs> and then a small weight lands on your shoulder. <laughs> As this smell of sickly sweet cigarette wafts up. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Just add a tiny, tiny note of syrup. Just a little bit more. You need to up the syrup. Yeah. It's not just sweet, it's actually syrup. What smell? <laughs> <laughs> you got it. I'm assuming it's a Sprite. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... No, no, it's... When. Oh, when yeah. came over. It's yeah. like, just... Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Nailed it. You can't smell anything. Uh -huh. <laughs> doesn't smell like anything to me. Mm. Of course mm. it doesn't. Tiny undernote of red whiz. <laughs> You're missing the tiny undernote of red whiz. Red piss. That's not me saying that, that's Foxy. I don't pick up on it over the other smell, but Foxy said you need to add the red piss. <laughs> You've been pissing on me. <laughs> <laughs> Give me no! <laughs> Alright, I'll believe it. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> you realize that this is the same woman that has a shit rock strapped to her back like a little backpack? Who? The one you're talking to. Where? That she ate no, she's looking for the shattered. rock. What she can see is the little uh, snail shell backpack that got stuck to her. <laughs> it's just the rock tied to her. Like I made a backpack out of it anyway. Yeah. Anyway, when it jumps yep. off here and turns back into herself, so. well, are you guys gonna go to sleep or what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, like, just, just. That's a little early for me. It's sometime in the morning. Yeah, a little early. Okay. I'm a creature of the night. <laughs> With no night vision. <laughs> yeah, I know. The R is not lost on me. <laughs> Especially given that you should have it. Yes. Maybe that's why they put me on night watch. I can only imagine. Because it sounds like they were absolute shitholes. No, it's probably because I couldn't be trusted. <laughs> well, whatever. You should go to bed and get some sleep. Yeah, alright. Unbuckle, unbuckle, unbuckle. Open up that fall off. <laughs> I wouldn't say this is a full eight hours of sleeping, right? Oh, well, not, I not mean, for you, you can get all eight hours. <laughs> just means you'll have to sleep in into the morning a bit. Depends if they wake me up or not. <laughs> um, Rob me for another fortitude save. Hey, that's that's a natural one. Yes. <laughs> so as Lucille walks over and like is unbuckling her armor, and slams it onto the ground. Um, you'd probably still be in the process of getting your beverage ready and all that kind of stuff, so it doesn't affect you, but you would start awake. That wasn't me! 
I got fixed it. <laughs> yeah, you're good. Welcome back. What are we doing? Going to bed. Oh. <laughs> this rain. Don't touch do anything. We, do we? Do we? <laughs> like, don't touch anything. Do we work at what we're doing here? Yes. <laughs> I just actually I'd send Floxy over to like just, you know, just like I'm still reading like Floxy just go give him the rundown like Floxy comes over and just like do not tell them your name do not make any deals with them you can tell them what you would like to be called as long as it is not your real name your sister is going <laughs> we don't eat those, do we? No, we don't. <laughs> we don't lick them either. Don't, don't, don't go inside those mushroom circle. Don't eat the mushrooms. They're pre-licked. Well, <laughs> yes. Treat everything in this grotto as already licked by the Fae. Including the Fae. <laughs> Including the Fae. <laughs> That's an image. <laughs> <laughs> they have looked at themselves and every blade of glass. <laughs> Look, it's the easiest way for Floxy to try and explain it's fine. this. It's fine. <laughs> yep. I'm all wanting to know about the vial of black stuff. Okay. Hopefully it comes up before we leave. <laughs> Well, I mean, I guess I'll you've go got it at the moment. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, give it over to you because you were grabbing all the dirt. So <laughs> just chuck it in the sack. Right. <laughs> I'm just like, up. Oh, is it going to be safe enough? It's like a glass. <sighs> Do I have a special pocket in the backpack? Well, it's buried in the dirt. It's not going to get crushed by anything because it'll already be in, in the dirt. But you know how, like with dirt, we just chuck things on the ground. You know how sometimes when you... Okay, that's probably not a good idea. You've probably never dug up anything before, have you? Yes, I've had to. Oh, well, a body. Uh, Actually, that's a good example. You know how when you dug up a body... <laughs> we've had to do a lot recently, yes. Yeah, you know how you know, you, you're digging down into it and all the bones are still intact in the skeleton shape. Yeah. They don't get... You know, people can run around and you know, jump on them and drop anvils and such on them. The skeletons will still be in the same shape and all gone more or less connected together. <coughs> right. Could be the same thing with this. Okay. It'll be kept safe and snug like a runestone in a rat. Well, I suppose if it breaks, it just goes back into the dirt that has to be sorted anyway. So I'd be happy to hold on to the vial if you want it separate. Oh, sure, yeah. No. Oh. Oops. What? Oh, okay, you have to fish it out. <laughs> oh, that's the very uncomfortable. Oh, there's little bits everywhere. I don't like your hands when we the table. Uh, Nothing. <laughs> Thank you, I can, so I can leave space in the way for examples. Are you planning on sleeping tonight, Clara? What? Are you planning on sleeping tonight? Yeah, he's fixed, he can carry me. <laughs> I just, I... There's, there's something there. It's like on the tip of the slaver's tongue. It's like That's someone else's tongue. Yeah. Yeah. Must be. Um, can we uh, trust Nikki? If they want to stay at the door. By we, do you mean you and me, or by we, do you mean me and the rat? <laughs> I and them. Ah. As long as you don't do anything stupid. Right. Looks pointedly at Capra. <laughs> <laughs> From a distance, you're somewhere a bit farther away. Well, you're you still probably asleep at this point. Well, you've explained with the mushrooms that right. they're a bit of a foul. They're not good for any brains on us. I can't. I can't attest it. That or not. They do what they do. But but the pranks wouldn't go too far, right? Like the dancing death pit. <laughs> uh, that's that's not a prank. Okay. That's uh that's participation. So 
as you guys would be coming over, Cockron, and as you drop your thing onto the ground, Cockron would jump up and be like, I didn't do it! If I had feelings, that would hurt. <laughs> you two would both notice that his hair has been braided. And do I even have that much hair left? <laughs> Sure, the, the patches yeah. that are still there. Yeah, so you'd have like patches around the back, and it's been entirely filled with flowers. I don't even have hair on this. Yeah, he's bald. Eh. Or have you got like just a, a monk's rat's tail? I don't know. I feel okay. like I thought you had a rat's monk's rat's tail. Oh, you can't see oh, the no. head. I think the no, okay. Works. So in that case, they would have woven it into your um, like your like bandages. <laughs> They've just put flowers all through your bandages. Well, that's okay. That typographical um. joke is fine. <laughs> you look gorgeous, Were Gabriel. these in the pile? <laughs> <laughs> now, these are normal sized flowers. You can tell that immediately. It's like... <laughs> did they shrink or did I get really big? <laughs> it's poisonous, you die. <laughs> <laughs> it's deadly not shade. Just met. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> just, just a touch of Belladonna, put you back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. I, good, I got poison flowers. No, you don't. Oh, good. They're just standard, but like daisies. like daisies and posies. posies and, yeah. Um. Thanks. Yes. You would hear giggling coming from up in the tree, and you'd see a couple of sprites as they disappear up in the branches. Um. Aww. So pretty. Very confused. <laughs> <laughs> They've been working on you for quite a while. Also, <laughs> <laughs> nobody's been watching you. <laughs> um. Alright. I guess I'll. I, I guess this is just how they say hello, so I'll, I'll grab some flowers and tie them together. Mm -hmm. Don't know how to braid, I'm just tying flowers in knots. I don't know what to do with these now. <laughs> just, um, I Are you grabbing them out of your bandages, or? I don't know, I was just grabbing them off the ground. Got <laughs> okay, no knots. Um, here you go, I guess. Roll Shuffle me over. a crop. Do I? I don't even have that. Let's craft one off. Let's have a look, shall we? Yeah, yeah, we're we're intelligence. Oh, oh, intelligence! That's sure. not as bad as it could be. Well, I don't want actions. I want to be back in my hand. Hmm. Mm, I'm saying... Plus zero. Mm. Plus zero. Here we go. Oh, look at that. 17. 17? 17. 17. So you don't really know what you're doing. Not a fucking clue. And somehow you just sort of weave this thing together and make, yeah, basically. Yep, cool. One of those. And you just sort of just put it down the on the ground. ground. They're not anywhere near me, so I just. Yeah, but you make it for like a normal size, like a goblin sized yeah. one. And you sort of, mm, there you go. I guess. Um, good, good night. No <laughs> Pulls the flower back over. <laughs> and you just go back to sleep? No worries. I fucking... What? Cool. Alright, the night happens. Alright, so you three are going to sleep and you're just staying up for the entire night, I guess? Until I have that aha moment. Okay. Or I feel like I've narrowed it down enough. I feel like it's one of those things where my brain has just become hyper fixated on this. You know, when you try to sleep and you've got that like little mm -hmm. that little thing that's nagging at you, at and it's like some point in the evening, your brain just goes, "That's as much as you're gonna get," and it's probably sometime early in the morning. I think that's about what I can do at the moment. Mm -hmm. Um. When? Forward. <laughs> Are you about? No answer. What was the lady in the, the tree's name? Sinamora. Um, Sinamora? Are you there? Well, I'm Roll you. me a diplomacy test. Four. 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 Four.
the seventh week to die. Throws a wand and he's like, oh boy. Uh, that's Here we go. Like Twelve. <laughs> How are you trying to coax her out? Uh, oh, I just be like, are you there? Um, of course she is. I understand that you were being trained by the queen, and I have come up with a couple of options with what I think this might be, and I was just wondering if anything she has taught you, you might know anything about this, if any of these options seems more accurate to you. Make a note on there or tell Will if that's okay. Thank you. Well, I'm helping. It's <laughs> 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 the weirdest brother and sister relationship we've seen was ever seen. Oh, <laughs> oh no, in my toes. Oh, in the sock. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Cecilia is sleeping amongst the roots of the big tree. No worries. Oh. Any particular reason? In the same way that she was comforting Ben when he was alone, terrified in the forest. Same sort of thing. Like a sleep next to someone comforting sort of manner. Roll me the funds. Ah, something I'm bad at. Ooh, 14. 14. That's, that's good for Lucy. <laughs> I have a plus one to that. feels slightly less anxious. Mm-hmm. Sending positive energies. Okay. Tell us it a bedtime story. Are you telling her a bedtime story? A bedtime story. Not a bad time story. <laughs> a bedtime story. That's right. This is the one about the rat princess and the rat king. And they to the great rat tower. I mean, technically, Princess Marcus is telling the story, so it's uh, probably a lot more embellished than how it would actually be. <laughs> but Lucy was sanitizing it <laughs> and telling the story in a, in a Much not. Much more. I was like, telling the story in Sylvan so it actually comes across more good or yeah. nice. That's a Sylvan word, by the way. Goodera. Goodera. Yeah. It means less bad. That was making my clicking sound. Hey. David is ticking oh. his fingers against something. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what is working? But he can't do this without looking too evil. Oh, he's trying to think, but his brain is mush. No. I'm trying to toss up if you guys have done enough to get the clue off. I don't think we dug up some dirt yeah. and laid down. Yeah. <laughs> no. I want to help. Here's what happens when your characters, players, are idiots. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. So you guys would go to bed at various points. You would wake up the next morning, or at, for some of you, probably late morning, early afternoon, depending on. I figured you guys would just wake me up when. Stretch it out. Well, see, the problem is if you don't get your eight hours of sleep, you don't get the spells. <coughs> so you made a good decision staying up until really late. <laughs> <laughs> she 
he has clarified many times that Kauri is intelligent and not wise. So yes, exactly. This card attracts. Fine. If I don't get my spells back, I don't get my spells back. I've still got my cantrips. Oh, my <clears throat> ones are not accurate on there. Oh, okay. Two magic missiles in a pocket library. That's what I'm missing. No, no, no. After so yeah. every 24 oh. hours you need to have your your rest and then to reappropriate. Oh, so I'll just be. You won't have. Any I'll just be a gnome with a uh, goblin yeah. with a stick. Yes. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> So if you don't have your eight hours of rest, you don't get any of your spells. Just put me on the stretcher and keep working for it. <laughs> um, so you were probably the first one to wake up. Or can't run, actually, because you were the first one to actually yeah. go to sleep. I, I've so. done more sleep than anything else. Yeah. I get up, stretch, have a walk around, see what the fuck I missed. Yep, so <laughs> you would wake up probably mid-morning. Oh. Nice. Um, you would notice that the shade of the tree is actually keeping every, like, keeping most of the sun out, so it's keeping everything quite dark for you guys. That's convenient, I guess. Yeah, it's keeping it pretty convenient, actually. <laughs> is this, is it an unnatural looking shade? It does look a little bit unnatural. <laughs> Too well placed. Like the sun's over here, but the shade is still coming this way. <laughs> a little That's bit. What I'm like. It's a little bit like that, yeah. I mean, the mountains do help because it's early mornings, and the mountains, like, are placed on the side to block that light. But there's also the shade is, you know, blocking out even more light as well. So I'll do a, a, a walk around the. Well, I was going to say around the tree, but. That is just around the whole grove. <laughs> so I'll do a little walk around the uh, the, uh, the grove and just sort of having a, like, I don't know, like this is not the same right. Is there anything else that just doesn't seem to be fine? Well, as you walk around the back of the tree, you do find There's a rather a large hole. It's <laughs> <laughs> just sort of like, what? Yeah. I'm going to investigate the hole. I do it goes to stone. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Near the back of the trail, oh, it's weird. No, there's no pebbles. The black shit's all just gone. It's yep. that nicely. All right, cool. So, damn it, I don't know. But I guess it's a fairy thing. Oh, I know what this is. I'll go back, grab the little crown thing I made, and stick it in the hole. As you head over to where the crown is, you start to notice that there's like little mushrooms have started to grow around it. Alright, I mean, I, I was told not to take anything, but I made the crown, so I guess it's fine to pick up. Yeah. Yeah, wander over, pick it up, go, I, I guess the holes where they sleep, because I haven't seen any, <laughs> haven't seen, I don't know where they went, so I'm like, oh, this looks like a bed to me. Like, I've slept <laughs> in a few holes before. They braided my shirt when I was asleep, so I'll put the thing in where they sleep and pick the crown up, wander around the back of the tree, pop it in, alright, cool, whatever. Um, and finish the circuit walking around. Nothing else seems out of place. <laughs> Don't go in the mushroom circle. That was mentioned to me, <laughs> wasn't it? That was. Yeah. It was specifically told to you <laughs> not to go. Yeah, to this one. Not, yeah. that, not that you can see where I'm pointing, but to yeah. the existing one. The big mushroom yeah. circle. You were yeah. specifically told not to. Well, you were specifically told not to eat the mushrooms. No, I told him not to touch the mushrooms, not to go in there. Okay, you yeah. told him not to go in there? Yeah. Okay. I believe so. Yeah. Okay. It was treat everything in this grove as if it was already pre-licked by the Fae. Mm. Mm. Um, what's the thing in the middle of the circle? Big stone pillar. It looks like a big stone gateway. Oh, a gateway. No, it's just an empty archway or something? It's From the back, it looks like an empty archway. If you walk around and look at it from the front, you can see it goes to what looks like an old forest. <laughs> like a different forest for the one you're looking at. Well, 
Oh god, are you gonna throw something through it? Yes! <laughs> I'm not taking it, you're not entering the circle, but this is pretty cool actually. Uh, what do I have? Let's not throw the bodily fluids in there. <laughs> you got a silk pillowcase. Yeah, th that's... I don't know why I have <laughs> There's that. a fucking like, story puppet! Yeah, that's the one that keeps talking. Remember? I got mm, one that I was, know. I'd rather he paid me to take it. Um, I've got 10 bits of chalk, I'll pull out a bit of chalk. Yep. And like sort of throw it through the gate or try to throw it through the arch. I mean, it's what, like five, ten, five feet from the edge of the circle, so yeah. it's not particularly hard to even want yeah. a piece of chalk. I'll walk the around the other side. Yeah. So you lob it through the gateway and you walk around the other side and it's gone. Right, I pull out another piece of chalk and lob it through that way. Yeah. So you lob it through and you walk back around and it's, the piece of chalk's come through and dropped onto the other side. Is the chalk still in the mushroom circle? Say yes. Odds or evens? Evens. Yes. Okay, can I reach the chalk without stepping into the mushroom circle? Yes. Just. I, I reach over and I just grab it. Like without sticking my without without stepping into it, I'm like trying to reach it and pick it up. Okay. Because that's definitely mine. I haven't seen anyone else pick it, so. <laughs> He's got a point. Yeah. Put that away. I'll walk over this little log thing, have a look at the lake, which is that actually glowing like yes. this? Any any sort of life in there? From what you can see, there does appear to be, yes. Like fish? Or does just... appear to be, yes. <laughs> Pretty leaked. They've already been leaked. But they're also in the water, so that lick wash off. <laughs> How does one lick water? You can't lick water because it just goes onto your tongue. <laughs> Lucky. Oh, I decide to leave it. Okay. <laughs> That's a three and I always pick evens. <laughs> You're fucking lucky. Well, I'm lucky. Uh, I'll finish my circuit. Um. While you're wandering around, you probably would still see sprawled out because I wouldn't have capped it all up. I just like reached a point, left the book there in case the three oh, yeah. wanted to make any notes. Oh. There would be the book with all of my scrawlings, and then probably like sitting on top of like my bag near it would be the different dirt samples next to the obsidian. So you would actually find those laid out with all of my like. Okay, but one jar of obsidian would work. The same as another jar of obsidian. I wouldn't know it's a new jar. No, no, no. no. So I one, have one piece. One like, has like bits, like a big chunk of obsidian, and the other one has like tiny little pebbles of obsidian. And one has dirt. Did, did Floxy mention that you were investigating more obsidian? Because I don't think she did. No. You could ask her. Everyone else is asleep. You. Because you wouldn't poke Floxy to ask a question? She's under your hat, right? Not currently. Not while I'm asleep. Oh, she, yeah. Well, she might be. You're just not wearing the hat. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll fly well, off. Actually, yeah, she's probably curled up next to the tree. Oh, next to the tree. Oh, I'll... Probably near my shit. She would have fallen asleep. Well, I'll go over and be like, tell her. What's with all the stuff? Well, we robbed and just not very well robbed. But we're sleeping on this side of the tree, all the stuff's on the other side. And Jerky. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, uh, yes, property. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Kara spent half. <clears throat> Kara spent half the night. Half the night. Half. Half. Um. Yep. Uh, going over. Um. Yeah, tasty. The the bedrock. So there was the bit of bedrock from cave. And then there was bad dirt behind tree where Queen was taken. Looks and over the hole with the crown. Mm, I made my mistake. Um, <laughs> and, and so, and like she pours like bad rock, uh, bad dirt. Um, they dug out all the bad dirt, and in the bad dirt, there was little bits of bad rock. And Kara was trying to work out who the big bad was because the necromancer didn't make the circle. So we have new bad rock from the hole behind the tree. Yes. Ah, oh, I'm 
I'll try something. I'll go, I'll get the little vial of the, of the, the new bad rock. Okay. Actually, I'll also pull out that flower crown and quietly put it back where, where I had originally put it. Okay. Uh, as far as I can tell, no one else is awake, so it's perfectly fine. It's like, alright, you made a hole of bad grass. Well, it appears they've gotten rid of the hole of bad. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. fine, that's fine. So I'm like, alright. Yep. What's the plan? Yes, I have a plan. So, oh, you know, all right, I'm going to empty out my water, my, my water skin. So, empty out the water skin. I'll go over to this sparkling pond. I'll grab some water from the sparkling pond. <laughs> I'll then tip that water into the new bad rock and see if anything happens. For science. I'm trying to work out if it's if it's reacting to this particular place or something in this particular place, or if it's just like another ritual circle type deal where someone. Okay. Put it there. So you're gonna grab some water from. I'm gonna pick it up in my water skins. I'm yeah. not tipping the fucking. No, I know, I know. Yeah. And then you're gonna take it over to the hole. No, no, no I'm gonna I'm gonna put the water into the vial with the bad rock. Yeah, but you're gonna take it over to the hole first. Uh, throw a bit, yeah, like. <laughs> I'm not going that far with it, so it's not. Oh, scary. so you're just going to walk back a little bit from the like, air? No, I mean, I'm okay. I'm going back to the hole. Yeah. But my reasoning is, I'm not going that far with the water, so it's not stealing. <laughs> it hasn't left anywhere. It hasn't left the glade. Yeah, yeah. So it's fine. No, no. So that's what I mean. You're going back over to the hole yes. to do pouring it into yes. the. Okay. So some into the hole, some into the vial with the rock. Okay, if the so sack you put of, it into the hole. If the sack of dirt was left out, I'll throw it in there as well. Okay, just... so you put it into the hole and nothing seems to happen. Mm. Oh. You put it into the sack and you watch as it sizzles a little bit. It's going to explode on my a hand here. <laughs> you put it into the vial. Oh, that's been so lost. <laughs> um, um, Roll me a fortitude today. Can, can Foxy make an idiot check? Like... Too late. Um, it's plus eight, isn't it? I don't know. Really. Sure I'm pretty sure it is. Um, yes. Shit. It is. It is. So that is a twenty-seven. Twenty-seven? Hell yeah. Okay. Unless so that's you bad. Take four points of damage. As the entire thing explodes. Uh. It wakes everyone. Basically, I need the three of you to roll for the saves. I'm back down to. Uh, natural twenty. Whoops. Yep, so you're still asleep. <laughs> Whoa, whoops. I actually got 177, not 72. Uh, natural 20. You're also still asleep. <laughs> I don't know what mine is. The idiot's Sorry. Mixing his... <laughs> Come on, do the uh, thing there. Okay, yours is plus 5. Uh, 15. 15? You're also still asleep. <laughs> um, until Floxy <laughs> <you> know, <laughs> comes over and starts pouring on your face. <laughs> Pulling shards of like, glass out of my Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're just like, ah. Just like, ah. Like, see, Have you ever seen potassium in water? Yeah. Yes. yeah, that's essentially what you've just done. You know what I was expecting? Yeah. yeah. Looks like, what's up? Idiot! Idiot! Idiot did it bad! Idiot did it bad! I'm like, oh god. It would also be about this point you would hear, what the fuck are you doing? I'm helping. What? Wait, what? Brother, what was it? What was it? What you um, doing? As soon as you're awake, you would start getting patted on the head, on the face. Um, um. <laughs> Is this by Floxy? Yeah. No, there's Claw. Get up! Like, no, 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 it starts at pats. Yeah. If the pats don't wake you up, then you start getting claws. Another natural 20. Oh, I'm not waking up! So the first, yeah, the first maybe five attempts are pats and then claw, so you wake up with claws. Yeah, you get a swipe and just... <laughs> <laughs> just what? <laughs> No, that's fine. Yep. What did you do? Um, I'm helping. <laughs> Why are you? Ah. What? Oh, Why? Why are you covered in regret? Ah. Oh, oh, regret. Oh no. <laughs> and then you get woken up. Regret. Go away. Whack. <laughs> regret. Princess Sparkles. Wake Lucille up. Ow! <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Actually, that uh, probably, yeah, Princess Sparkles would probably 
wake you up at about the same time. You be waking up by the you know. Um Yeah, so you're standing there like pulling bits of glass out of your hand. What did you do? Why are you here? What is <clears throat> So there's a new bad rock. <laughs> what do you mean this? Turns I out. just I turn an accusatory look to Floxy be like <laughs> What did you two do? Idiot, not my fault. <laughs> and it starts flying away. Burning hands. No smells! Yep, so it probably goes to cast burning hands, realizes it doesn't I have any smells. I would actually just be like... Uh, okay. New um, you okay. would all be hearing the occasional... <laughs> like, pop. As, like, the vial that exploded because it was in your hand has like been contained. Yeah. All the rocks have fallen into the hole, which has still got water in it, oh, and they're just sitting there nice. popping. <laughs> that. What the actual fuck? What the actual yeah. fuck? What was When has fall, flown over and is just looking at you like, what are you doing? Um, what did you do? Is it obvious? It doesn't like the water. <laughs> you, did you use your oh. water or water from that? The, that water. Like, it's... I don't Why know, if it's, would you do that? The, well, see, we found a circle in a cave ages ago which had this same stuff in it, right? Yes, we've been talking about it all night. He's been... I know, but... but <sighs> so, um, I know you said not to hold anything against you, but... Uh, idiot! I did specify that. No, he was no, an no. That, that, I did that's... tell you he's an idiot, and yeah, just. <laughs> Shit, we need to get that. How do we. Azula, I need a spoon! <laughs> I can tell with that. <laughs> Which one? Up his back. I need to get the rock out of the water, but I'm not sticking my hand in there. <laughs> Alright, um. Shit. Oh, yeah, spoons, spoons. How deep is the. Like we How much water did you put in here? Oh, not much. I just splashed it around a little bit. So it's like in a little puddle. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. The problem is they're really reactive. Apparently. I spent so long collecting these. Oh. Well, I spent so long trying to fix these. Stop trying to help. Oh. Roll me a reflex save. <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, it's a 40 on die. Fourteen? On the die. Okay. Uh, that's a twenty. Twenty total? Yeah. Okay, so you will take three points of damage, mm -hmm. but you are able to get half the rocks out and get them onto the grass when they sort of... Oh, I don't want to put them on the grass. Yeah. Well, How else are you going to put them? That was going to be my next time. Back in the sack. Oh, fuck. At this point, I'm really worried, so they go... They, 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 Alright, I put my hat down and I put them on the hat because I don't want to take the grass. I'm doing my hat and I'm going the other side trying to scoop up with my spoon. Okay, hold a reflex save as well. Oh, I get two natural 20s and then I get five. <laughs> so that's you really like your sleep. A 12. 12? Uh huh. Alright, so. Okay. Hey, there's food. You're going to take five points of damage. Ow. Um, and you're only going to get, like, one of the rocks out. Oh. Okay. Cool. So, people are currently digging <laughs> bits of rock out of... Ow. <laughs> rocks out of holes, glass out of hands. Can I use prestidigitation to try and move the water? We've used it to move, d like, get dirt off ourselves. Can I use it to try and, like, move the water to the side of the rock so we can pick the rocks out? Roll me an arcana. I don't know why I'm going for a dice. 16. You feel like it's not going to work too well given the way the water's interacting with the rocks. Mm. It's gonna, the way it's interacting, it's going to disrupt the magic. Yeah, shit, fuck you. Yeah. Can you still cast? No, I can't anyway. Alright, back in with the spoon. Just, like, just look at yourself. I'll... With your one rock, she's like... Ow. Lucy, <laughs> 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 would you be able to help out? Just... Okay. 
keep going. It's fine, I got this. All right, brief, brief recap. I missed the last like, two minutes of what yep. was going on when I was getting the food from the front. Basically, they're trying to dig the exploding rocks out of the hole that is currently about that much water in it. Right. That is currently exploding. Uh huh. Well, they're not exploding, exploding, but they're popping every now and then, and it's unsettling. My hands are bleeding. Like, I've done. Yeah, your hands. Like, I've done the uh, exercise, you know, the dripping water, you put your hand in and out. This is pretty much the same, right? Except with rocks, and you can grab them instead. I mean, it's essentially the same. It's like yeah. trying to grab a firecracker and throw it before it explodes in your fingers. Essentially. Yeah, I'm quick. It's fine. I'm ready to you. I know. I just said I'm going to come over and help. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was it? Reflex? Reflex, yeah. Here we go. Oh, that is a 15. 15? <laughs> nice low roll. Okay, so that's just enough. So you'll take one point of damage. Oh, no. And you'll be able to get a couple of rocks out. Can I keep going and get the rest? Yeah. Like, I got half of them out. I must have worked out some sort of technique. You said half. Ah. You got about three out. You said I got half of them. No. You got about three out. Okay. I said you got about three out. <gasps> you said half. Half yeah. a three. Mm-hmm. No, half yeah. a three. You got one and a half rocks in. Keep arguing, you'll make it less. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm just making sure that it wasn't my sanity. No, yeah. no, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It wasn't, it's crazy. It wasn't supposed to be half. No. Well, anyway. Maybe it was half a handful. Just. Uh, that's a 16. 16 is enough. So. Oh, wait, that's his, not mine. No, that's a 12. 12? Yeah. So you'll take six points of damage. Yeah. And you're going to get one rock out. Do you keep going? No. No? Okay. Thank you. Are you helping? <laughs> Doing. We're trying to get the rocks yeah. out of the cockroach. Instead of grabbing it, I'll try and bop it out. It's a bit of a... <laughs> no. So you're trying to bop a rock out of about four feet of a hole. Isn't it jumping up and exploding? No, no, no. They're they're like like oh. jumping around the bottom. Oh, I'll keep going. Yeah. Prometheus. Oh, you know, I've got a better idea. I'll jump into a uh, super cool flamey stance and start pecking at the water. Make okay. that shit evaporate. So when he says that, I stop. Whatever it was I was about to do, I turn around, cross my arms, and watch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're gonna let me use fire near the tree? How close am I in the tree? Uh, it's where the hogs are. It's, it's pretty close. No. <laughs> When would you like to hit him or should I? I hit the water up or disappear. I got this. Um. You're welcome to re-paralyze him until we leave. Roll me a reflex save. Uh-huh. That's plus 10. It is. Bam! Oh no. That's a 14. Oh. Why must you betray me now? No, it is a d20. Um, what? <laughs> what did you get? 14. Okay, yeah. so... As you're standing there, vines like wrap around your legs. Ah, and they're going to slow you down. So you're going to take minus 10 to your movement. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 25, 15. All right. As you all see when basically her eyes flare yellow and she basically casts a spell. No. Uh, Fire. Regret. <laughs> right. Cool. So I can do my thing now. Yeah. Right. I'm hoping it's better than my thing. Throw some dead on it. I beat for it. Open my pack. Pull out my frying pan. Anyone got a shovel? No. 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 <sighs> I've got a pot. <laughs> Actually, yeah, give me one of those spoons. Yeah. Thanks. It's like, into the hole. <laughs> yeah. It's like, frying pan. The rocks. Just... Yeah, roll me a reflex save. Ah, watch me die. Oh, that would be loud. Eleven. Eleven? Yeah. Okay. So you're going to take seven points of damage, All right. but you are going to get the last of the rocks out. 
get the frying pan. Teamwork! <laughs> Teamwork, he says, as the, these vines are slowly wrapping further around. Ah, still regret! <laughs> I don't know why I'm reaching my hands up, but... Where have you been putting the rocks, by the way? In my hat. Okay. I didn't want to put them on the ground. I didn't want it <clears> to be carrier. They're still popping every now and then because they're still covered in a little bit of water. Yeah, I know. Just, just... Put them in here. Get him out of here. This is that village all over again. <laughs> Test. You are the diplomatic one of the group after all. Well, you are the most diplomatic one of the group. Yeah, this being a bit thrown off by um, realizing I've also been a cause for the enslavement of their people. <laughs> <laughs> Is Wen's eyes still flaring that they're in control of us? Mm, they seem yes, to be slowly growing a bit dimmer, and you notice like, the vines are slowly proceeding off his legs. A, I think it's time we leave. Yeah. This one. I'm just gonna walk up and. <laughs> What's that? I mean, you he, he can't defend himself right now. Well, yeah, while he's still tied up. He's not restrained, but he. He's slowed. Like right. he, he, he's, he's not going to be running this fast at the moment. I'm going to make an attack. Okay. Like the, the slap? Are you hitting with your stick? Yeah, I basically walk up with... I don't think it's going to hit him because his AC is so fucking high. And I roll really badly. Well, I'm... You're not restrained. restrained. Wow, well, I'm still free, aren't I? Yeah. yeah. No, it's like a 13. Yeah, it's not going to do it. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, you just instinctively, like, slap the stick away. Cool. I'll, um... Run. Fuck it, I'm gonna try again. <laughs> I'm just gonna, Run. like, try and walk, crack him over the head, and then when that doesn't work, I'm like, fuck it, I'll flick up the other end, and as he turns around, I'm gonna try and knacker him. Okay. Roll a couple more attacks. Now so you clock him around the ears? No, 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 no. I knack her him. Oh. Him day. Yeah, I went to hit him, and then when that didn't work and he turned around, I flicked up the end of the staff and square between the legs. <laughs> I basically reversed <laughs> up into the junk. Right up in that man business. You know how I'm you, not you, trying you know, to do damage, I'm okay. trying to cause pain. You know how you don't... Uh... Okay, you know how you don't feel it for a few seconds? Yeah. It's like, ah, I taught you well, but... <laughs> oh, <laughs> I feel like you're like... Ah. Oh, no. Ooh, 20, I think. 20? I think. No, it's not. Uh, that is... 27. 27? 26. Math, okay, math. so you managed to make it about five steps. Before the uh, the uh, that feeling kicks yeah. in, you're like, mm. oh, I told you well. <laughs> and it just you don't fall over, but you're like standing there, yeah. like you're like bent over, double. You're like, mm. I'm not having a good time. Just I grab like him by feel in my gut. Yeah, <laughs> grab him by the scruff of the neck, take him to outside, like a step outside the grove, and sit him down next to a tree. You just stay right fucking there and do not. Just curl over. <laughs> <laughs> Failed position. Not only sit 
keep him alive than to say he had to be able to bear children. Accurate! <laughs> I say that as I'm muttering my way in, when probably he is. <laughs> Alright, so what are the, the other three doing? Takes him a couple of minutes, but they slowly start cooling off stupid damn things. Right. Sack. Into the sack. Mm-hmm. Thing. Yeah. I need to wash this. This is my pack, by the way. Yeah. I didn't think you were going to put it. Dip it in the pack. <laughs> He's like, dip it straight into the lake. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? The pan explodes and kills us all. Hey, look, I, I'm not in there, so mm. I'm so alive. See, I want to do a, a, one, another loop of the thing because now that it's daylight, I can see less bad. Yes. Roll me another perception test. Come on, lucky seven. Oh, that's an eight. Seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> we're all higher than a ten at any stage. <laughs> nice. Fine. It's not twenty. <laughs> Why did you waste that? Were you hero pointing it? I was meant to say that, but too late now. <laughs> hero odds, point! Odds or evens? Ah, I got 14 on that one. Odds or evens? Evens. Evens. I rolled an evens, would you like to use the nat 20 for the hero point? Sure. No worries. You see, you ran a bit of chalk sitting just for the arm. <laughs> <laughs> So that's a total of 28. 29. 29. (laughs) Okay, so as you're walking back in the forest, you find... uh, As you walk back in, you looking around through the trees and all that mm-hmm. stuff and you find under a um like in a clump of grass under like what looks to be like a gnarled root of one of these trees is this chunk of what looks to be like some kind of odd metal thing. Hey, someone who knows things. <laughs> Doesn't matter. That would most likely be me. Yeah, all right. Come here, please. <laughs> I shall come that way. I definitely use bananas. Yeah. <clears throat> Ursula. Gotta keep Maybe. a kid around. Maybe try to find out what, um, out of character, I forgot my name. I keep going to think Cinnamora. Cinnamora. Cinnamora, yeah. Maybe try to find out what Cinnamora saw or remember. It's what her experience was. You're really good with people. People, yes. It's fine. Be nice. Coming! <laughs> just, just, wait, uh, just grab my books. Okay, what is it? What's that? Looks like a piece of metal. That's helpful. Detect magic. I can't use detect magic, I don't rest. <laughs> is detect magic a cantrip? Yes. Did you not have it prepared already? I did. But according to David, I lose my spells. So, I'm pretty sure that works with wizards. Unless they have had their eight hours of rest, they just can't. Because part of their morning preparation is prepping all their spells for the day. Mm -hmm. If they don't have their rest, then they do their prep. They can't use their spells. I would have thought they just held on to what they prepped the day prior. They just don't learn anything again. Well, no, such thing is right. You only have a certain amount of time to be able to hold onto your spells before they decay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I'm interested in check. Well, I mean, if you can't do it, I'm pretty sure when could. When? Hopefully now. No, when? Yeah, don't talk to me. Talk to her. I'm calling for when. <laughs> then why are you looking at me? Back into the grove, she's probably there. They're invisible. I'm waiting on God to make a decision. Oh no, they remain until you prepare your spells again, so you've got. Yeah. Okay, no yeah. worries. Cool. That's it. Okay, the tech magic. Sorry, my bad. She would be 
I'm mm-hmm. assuming you just mm-hmm. look at it and go, detect magic. And it's just. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so. You look at it and it's. It gives off the same feel as the obsidian, but it's more concentrated and. refined, I guess is the correct term. How big is it? Uh, Do I have a glass vial with a big enough opening to put it in? Not really. Mm-hmm. Um, How about a sack? It's like, where, yeah. where's your frying pan? We need to put that in the sack of taint. Did you call over when? Oh, when? <laughs> yeah, so when like, it was over to you. Uh, yeah. uh, we found a bit, well, and I'm not touching it yet. I'm just <laughs> waiting for Lucille to get out the frying pan so I can pick it up and look at it closer. Uh, uh, there is a, uh, a tainted chunk of metal. Where? Just there. Where? Just there. Like uh, right here. Like, like get. Throw it at her. Acquire a stick. It's not attached to anything. It's just, you know, like I'm not plucking it from the tree and poke it. It's like. See this stick? At the end of the stick. Bonk, bonk. Right there. There's nothing there. Huh. Right, I'm back. Do you not believe that it's there, or do you just There's see nothing it? there. There is definitely something there. No, there's not. Hmm. Oh, what are we doing? How much do you know about... <laughs> Mmm, gases? You're a fae, right? What are my words completely fucking invisible? <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Are, you, are your words completely invisible? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what did you say, sorry? What are you doing? I need to pick up that bit of metal to get it out of here, but I don't want to touch it, okay? It is magical, it is more refined than the uh, obsidian, and when can't see it. Okay. Have you tried just balancing a thing on top of it to see if you can see the thing floating on top? Well, I have put a, poked it with a stick. Oh yeah, look, I can do that too. Look, that's it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had like 30 seconds talking about this with them and I just asked them about gases and then you walked up and now you're like, have you tried this? Have you tried this? It was one thing, dumbass. Give me that stick. Thanks. Rest it. So, so yeah, 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 I'm and, right, then just, and then let go. How the bloody hell are you doing that? There's something there that apparently you can't see. Well, fucking obviously. Well, that's what I literally just said. Like, are you some sort of gas to remove any memory or perception of what it was that came into the glade? Where are my tongs? I'll be back. Wait, you had <laughs> tongs this whole time? <laughs> you didn't. Azula, give me a couple of spoons. Oh, shit. I have tongs. Oh, God. <laughs> of course you do. Yeah, I'm not using my good blacksmith um, tongs on that. Thanks. <laughs> but I've already given you, like, two spoons. You've got more. <laughs> Don't feed. Yeah, tongs. Yeah, okay, just, like, a spoon. Uh, do you really want them back up? They'd be touching that stuff. Yes. Oh. Sorry. They're in the sack. Yeah, just like, just pull out a set of blacksmith tongs while you're off trying to find the spoon. The <laughs> god that I had, I'm just like, what are we doing here? We found a thing. Might be a clue. Sure. I love tongs. It was bad. Did... <laughs> <laughs> Is that the thing? Wait, can I see it? Yeah. Alright. Is that the thing? Yeah. <sighs> Maybe we... As you pull it out from under mm-hmm. where it is, you look at it, it looks like it's a piece of something that was, like, forged. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll roll a crafting check to try and work out what it is or recall knowledge for minerals or, so, like... Crafting? Yeah, because I've got crafting and I use it for blacksmithing and stuff, yeah. so... Uh, that is a 17. 17? Mm-hmm. With such a small piece, it's hard to tell what mm-hmm. the, the hole would have been. I also want to know what type of metal is, and is it cold iron? It's not cold iron, you can mm-hmm. tell that much. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, with the small, such a small piece of whatever the hole was, it's hard to tell what the hole would have been. Um, you can tell... It's not any kind of metal you know of without being able to do any kind of alchemical tests on it. Mm -hmm. Like, you run a couple of quick ones and it's like... Like, you... you what do you have it? any kind of alchemical components on you? Uh, no, I've just got my blacksmithing okay, stuff. Steve, like, Steve. I've got yes. crafting supplies for uh, my blacksmith's kit. I've got some dandelion poison. No, so blacksmithing kit... It's Odds or evens? Odds. Okay, so that wouldn't have any chemicals in it. Yeah. Um... So yeah, it, you wouldn't be able to do any kind of tests to see if it's like steel or iron or... But it's silver in colour? No, it's black. It's black? Yes. Oh! But it's not obsidian. It's not the same black yeah. as the obsidian. It's like matte. Well, not matte black. Yeah. It's kind of shiny, but it's not the same shine yeah. to it as the obsidian has. Yeah, and it would feel like... When I go to pick it up with the tongs, so I would know the difference between like a, a glass Kinda, and... Kinda, yeah, but a little bit shinier. Yeah. Um, uh, and it feels heavy. Like lead? Not like lead. Like iron. A little bit shinier. Oh, stupid shiny. Um, that's, ah. that's way too shiny. Actually, not far off that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty close to that. Do, is there a broken edge on it? Like, is one side shiny and then there's a broken piece? Or is this... Like, it's broken in two spots. Yeah. Um... And you can see, so it's broken on two spots. Mm -hmm. On the unbroken side, mm -hmm. you can see all these odd, like, gr engraving on it. Will you see something? Are they rooms? Looks like some kind of room engraving on it. I wonder if someone will can see it. Maybe. Because I can see it. Yeah. I'm guessing you can see it. Wondering if the triad can see us. Maybe you should voice that opinion or query. Oh my, you can try. You can go to her and ask. Yeah. She'll have a look at it. When, so you cannot see what is between these tongs? Nope. Can you detect magic? She focuses on reading Siri. Eyes glow yellow. The hell? It is painful. <sighs> it's weird. It's like there's this dull. What, are you using magical tongues or something? <sighs> no. These are normal blacksmithing tongs. There is a piece of metal that was on the ground that we picked up. Sure. What's going on? What do you mean? Why are you so disbelieving of this? Because I can't see anything in between the tongs. Are you not curious as to how I'm holding a pair of tongs like this and it's just staying open, or why the rest of us are claiming we can Maybe see it? You can hold tongs like that. Touch it, touch it. I was wondering, do you think some more would be able to? Uh, out and see if they can see it. Yeah, would Silly Nora be able to see it? Silly Nora, right? Cinemora. 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 I mean, if she wants to, she can come out. I can't order her to. Not in order, but perhaps you can help us uh, calm her enough to come out. I if she wants to come out, she'll come out. Right. I you either this is enchanted so you cannot see it or something has enchanted you so you cannot see it I, I don't know the problem with that kind of enchantment is I have no control over what it does to me what about the others around 
Can I see? Would you answer them, please? She looks around and says, she waves a couple of them over. Can you two see anything between the tongs? And they sort of look over. No, no. Well, then I'll go to this and then Laura mm-hmm. and Pat. And At this point, you, you guys wouldn't have moved out of the trees. No. What do you mean? Well, at this point, you guys wouldn't have moved out of the trees yet. You'd be still standing like in the trees. Yeah. Oh, it's We're not close. in this clearing part. We're within You're the back in itself. the tree line, like this way. Right. A little ways. <clears throat> well, you guys can. Well, I'm still walking. So, yeah, I'll ask yeah. you to come out and have a look at something. Yeah, I would be very curious as to whether or not she can see it, if it is something that has affected her. What What was her experience of the Queen Lady? Or this being period. not longer here? She won't talk about it. She won't talk about it? She just says she doesn't know. She's scared. Well, but I can't do anything about it. Okay. But I, I would like to find out if she can see this. It's a very good idea, but I don't want to take it into the grotto. Perhaps if you do, it might break whatever kind of enchantments on us. If that's something you're willing to try, then I will. Okay then. By this point, you want to go back to the tree. Yes. Teddy, the tree. (laughs) (laughs) Feel like a wooden. Um. (laughs) That is how they got started. Essentially. (laughs) Cool, these dryads are pretty hot, aren't they? (laughs) What else, Australians? No. (laughs) No, they're English. Just need you to have a look at it. Roll the diplomacy test. Oh, it's a twelve. Twelve? Yeah. <clears throat> Crack of hey! Yes. Hi! <laughs> She'll just sort of perk her head out. What is it? Metal we found nearby, but it's only because you're. Uh, you see her eyes go wide. See it. Metal. What kind of metal? I'm. I'm not sure. Is it outside. black? Did I see it was black? Yeah. Uh, yes, it's black. Get it away! Get it away! Get it away! And she goes back to the tree. Is I'm it? walking up with it. Well, I I I, I run fast. I'm, oh, okay. And I run fast to meet up with me like, oh no, as she says to get it away. <laughs> what? She, she says to get the black metal away. So she knows what this is? Or, or she told me, uh, I tried to hold it was a piece of metal that if it's black, get it away. Uh, Just, and it was very frightening. And look over at when. <laughs> when looks like at you. It's <laughs> like... Looks very confused. I'm guessing she. If she. Well, did you tell her it was metal or did she get concerned beforehand? I told her it was a piece of metal we found. And then she asked if it was black. So she is scared of specifically black metal. Yes, I could. She asked me which type, but I don't. Yeah, no type. 
Not to me. I'm not to me. Is she, is she normally scared of metal? I mean, okay. Cold metal, silver, so it wouldn't be that. It's not cold There's no iron reason either. for her to be scared of black metal. Unless she knows something. Or saw something. Yeah. Or felt something. Sorry. What you said it was broken, right? Yeah. Broken. Does some of it look like it's been worked? Yes, it has been worked, and there are engravings on one side. I'm okay. guessing it would be used to contain someone. Like, or, this is a wild or, speculation. Or, and maybe, or. <laughs> She's watched Morpha fight the things that had this. That's why it's a broken piece here, because she saw what they were. I wonder if. This is specifically spelled so that the Fae cannot see it. So somebody wearing metal worked in this could walk in and take the clue. Mm. Right. But, but then it won't work on Cinemore. Hmm? Then it won't work on more. Did they know that Cinemore was there? No, no, because it was specifically spelled to work on all Fae, it would work on her too. Okay then. Hmm, I don't know that. Well, she didn't say that, she didn't say that, she just said <clears throat> the black metal away. She I never actually had to look at it. I think we might... Bring it in. Um, okay. Mm, the Fae aren't kind. You're about to find out why. <sighs> With that, when just yeah. sort of just flutters forward. Just like... She gave Wen instructions to act on her behalf in this matter. Right. Wen has power in this situation. It is their choice. Yes. Oh, I feel like I've broken my trust. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, why am I picturing is it Xerxes out of the movie 300 and he's like, right, kind. It's like, mm. And then he gets hit in the face with the spear. Yeah. All right, so as you guys come out of the tree line, you make yourself scarce. Yeah, I'm like, oh no, run right. like a bitch. No, I'm not. I'm brave. As all is brave. You're all gonna be a brave little girl. As all is brave. Be a brave little girl. Okay. All right, so as you guys walk in through the plant, the um, the tree line into mm -hmm. the area. Um, you would hear this odd creaking. It almost sounds like a scream coming from the willow. I'm sorry, Sam. <laughs> oh, is it's it a willow not. tree? Yeah. Aww. It's a giant willow. I forgot to ask what type of tree it was. Sad. <laughs> um, as aimed directly at you. As you hear booming from like in the arrows. Leave! And you would see the roots immediately start to move upon themselves. So I need all of you to roll reflex saves. Except this one ain't. Well, except for you. Apparently. Uh, that's a 16, I think. Fuck your roll anyway. Hell yeah, 28. Can I have his roll? <laughs> yeah, 16. Okay, so you are slowed by 10 feet? Yep. 20. Well, actually, sorry. No, you're not. You're completely immune. So the vines come up to try and grab you, and as soon as they get to you, they just wither and die. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Ah! Um, what did you get? 20. 20? Yep, so they just rank, grab around your ankles. 19. 19? And same with you. They, they're they not holding you in place, but they're slowing you down. Oh, I touch it. Okay, I'm so sorry, Sam. Alright. Yeah, as they come to grab up to you, it's like they hit this barrier and they just sort of wither and die. Did you see that part when? <laughs> she just sort of looks over and like, Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, back away, maybe. Yeah. Just... Can I back away now, please? Just down there. Okay. Sin. 
What did you see? She's and from the willow you just see it's evil. Get it out! Get it out! I can't get it out until you tell us what's happened. That thing took mother. What thing? The darkness. So you did see what happened. I don't know what I saw. It was just darkness. Was it alive? I don't know. Just describe exactly what you know happened. Darkness. There was this patch of darkness that just appeared, and then Mother was wrapped in. They look like vines, mm -hmm. but they were made of that. So, chains? I, I don't know. And then they disappeared. Like just, pop, disappeared or left disappeared? They, whatever the darkness was, dragged her into the trees and then they were gone. And they appeared at the, the circle, the hole? And was mother, your mother, in that spot where the circle is? Yes. The things that they wrapped, did they do it? Did the darkness wrap it around or did it come up over? Was it like throwing a blanket over someone or tying someone up? They tied her up like vines. Out of something made of this? Yes. Were they covered in this too? I don't remember. But they were wrapped in darkness. I couldn't see them. Do you know if they were working a spell on you and your kin? I don't know. Did you smell them? Did they smell like anything? Or sound like anything? Cold. Smell This smells like this smell? Worse. Worse? Yes. Like. I can't describe it. It's just wrong. And it didn't sound like anything particular. All I heard was. They didn't speak. No, no. They didn't speak. Clanking. Yeah, like swords, swords, I guess, or like, like, like your uh -huh. armor last night. Metal. Do you know if they were alive? I asked that already. Oh, sorry, did you? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. No. Hmm? Didn't know. But did your mother warn you of what was happening? To hide or they didn't sense that it was about to happen? No. No. Okay. What happened to everyone else here when I this happened? Don't they can't remember. Nobody remembers but me. I'm so sorry you've had to go through this. And then are you allowed to back up now? Yeah. 
the vibe, the roots have all gone back into the grave at this point. Yeah. No. Yeah, it's too scary right now. <laughs> like, sort of like back right up and just sit down. Wait. I'll get something that I can wrap the metal up in. Yeah. Maybe then can take it away when it says. <laughs> yeah. Well, tell me the whole word. <laughs> nope. What did we come out here for again? That rock. <laughs> The crystal. Crystal. With the rainbow waterfall. Yeah. Just in case I... I'm gonna like put my tongue out as if to lick it, but just let a little bit of spit fall off my tongue and hit the thing. <laughs> so I don't lick it with my physical tongue, but it's like... It has been spiritually licked. This has been spiritually licked by me. Of course. Well, I wasn't going to lick it like I did the other thing. Why not? You know, I think you want to lick it. I don't have to be spat all over it. Exactly. It means it's working. Wrap it up. Like, so it's currently outside of the glade. I'm just like, sit it down with my tongs to go back for it. And I'll just be like, like come back in and just like apologize to Cinemora. Just be like, would you like a hug? You don't get any reply. Oh, okay. Is she gone back in? She never came out of the tree. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll just, I'll, I'll go up and just like. You mean? <laughs> well, I'll find see, a limb or a like or something. like large roots that are like out of the ground that you can sort of like That's hug really up to. <laughs> yeah. It's like um, hugging an ankle. Yeah, and I'll just like, no, I'm so sorry. We're going to look after the thing we can to help, okay? And then I'll just like. I'm like, oops, uh, this is sad. Uh, poor girl. I'm gonna hum a little tune that Nonna used to hum to me when I was sad. I'm gonna use my hero point. <laughs> it's a nat one! No, I don't no. want a nat one a little song. <laughs> Just sobbing like, through it. It's still not, not great. Long. It's, um, like an Actually, wait a second. I can get Floxy to help me. <laughs> Sing a lot. Yeah, so it's ten, and then Floxy can help me, which will make her a twelve. Yeah. Okay. It's it's not great. I'm trying. I'm sure she can the see the thoughts I'm there. Yeah, the thoughts there. The success, no. But the okay, I can see they're trying, especially after some of her roots got a bit singed because I walked in with the. <laughs> What are the others doing? Probably watching awkwardly at the moment. It's yeah. just really uncomfortable display plays out in front of us. Yeah. Look, it makes more sense in Goblin, I think. I think, oh, are we supposed to be, what, comforting or something right now? I don't know how to comfort the dryad, okay? Yeah, I'm just patting the branches. <laughs> <laughs> The roots, yeah. Like down. Things that are comforting to a goblin in a burnt sands tribe is very different to what a dryad would find comforting. I'm guessing fire and like scorching winds is not going to be a certain concept. Probably not. Exactly. You comfort her then if you're so good at this. All you right. are very good at this. Fine. I will. <laughs> no, no, go ahead. Speak your mind. <laughs> I wouldn't say traditionally you're a very comforting person, Egon. But again, the small folk have very different ways. So I could be very wrong about this, a different perspective. Is she not there when you were looking after Ben? No. Oh, okay. I was. Not like that. <laughs> really? Yes. Yeah. Really? You were very... Are you sure about uh, that? ...caring for the child. Yeah. In a very, um... Oh, I look forward to seeing where this goes. A very aggressive way. What? Pancakes. Pancakes. That's, that's true. The, the actions were 
uh, kind, <laughs> the, um, the tonality and uh, the threatening of the kid. That's uh, that was a bit. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, you've never dealt with children before. Uh, <laughs> fairy children, maybe. Sorry, you've never dealt with children in a positive manner before. <laughs> Yeah, see, that just proves my point. That's incorrect. You just said no, so you agreed with me. I disagree with you, but no, I have. Just to make the truth for myself. I'm just gonna pack up my stuff. I'm sorry. Help just take these things away from me, you wounds. I'm just I tried, I wasn't great at this, but I'm sorry for all of this. Lucille's good. I gotta say, I particularly liked the whole leaving the um, scorched earth, earth around the roots of the tree. That was mm, chef's kiss. Mm. Oh yeah, horrible, <laughs> horrible. Yeah, take another half. What? Scorched earth. No, they were in. I had like two vials of dirt. Ah. You also had the bags of dirt. I didn't have that the. Bags that no. were left around the roots of the tree. Did you guys leave the bags of dirt around the tree? They the were scorched dirt moved from the hole. We, we never specified where they were going. <laughs> Sounds like they were left where they were. It was, it was never made expressly clear exactly where this hole was. Just behind the tree. Uh, yes, just behind the tree. Where is that exactly on this map? Just behind the tree. Because I can see myself, and then Azula. So and then there's a gap, and then there's the hole was something here. purple. Oh. I can't see any hole there. Well, there's no physical hole on the map. That no, could be a lie. <laughs> so, you guys, if the hole was right there. Thank you for the clarification. No, we all made some choices in our sleep deprived states. It's fine, don't worry. Uh, Sorry, I didn't actually do it. Okay. So I thought the hole was over. That side of it, yeah, no, somewhere. Yeah. No. No, I put you guys there because that's where I thought the hole was. <laughs> it's fine to worry about. Okay. I was like, fine, I'll do the comforting thing then. <clears throat> in in no mission. Just so you know, I think that she's completely full of shit, and you are in fact a very comforting person. You should ignore what she's saying, as she clearly doesn't understand how other folk act. Yeah, right. <laughs> Walk up to the tree, just... Are those giant blackberries hanging from it, or is that something else? Yeah, no, happened? they're large bushes of, like, flowers. Okay. Yeah. So I don't touch one of the blackberries, then. No. No. So Walk up, place my hand on the tree, and then... Allow me to tell you a bit of a story. None of you can understand a word I'm saying. Does, Sylvan, Sylvan. But does it sound pretty? Does Sylvan sound pretty? Sylvan sounds fairly pretty. Nice. Are you still in your roughness or this pretty? <laughs> I feel like even in your voice, speaking in Sylvan would have a certain Dosset tone to it. <laughs> Alright, allow me to demonstrate the tone that I'll be using. This most likely be the sort of sound that you'll be hearing. <laughs> it vibrates differently like on voice box. Caribbean. <laughs> Yar. <laughs> <You're> just, <laughs> twitch. Her destiny wrote you. Yeah, the old, like, Irish accent yeah, used to way. sound a lot like. A pirate's oh, accent. Oh, okay. So that's why it's pirate esque. Mm -hmm. See? Maybe half a season passed. These three fools and myself, and the rat, and the fox. <laughs> I think. Mm. Good. We were tasked with tracking down some little monstrosity that was causing chaos far to the west. We went to a town, besieged 
by monsters. We found out where they were coming from. We traveled north through dense forest, past hordes of these crawling undead bastards, snuck up to the lair of the creature that was bringing them to life, confronted it in its lair, and brought it and its minions low. This bastard was like the thing that took your mother. Just like the bastard that we already cut down, we will do the same for the thing that has wronged you. Or die trying. Roll it up once it Ah, natural one. Two. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh! <laughs> What's that total of? Uh, three. 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 Oh, 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 gosh. I'll use my halfling luck to... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. You did was close. so well with the story, and it was so good. <laughs> Could just put it you, you have said in the past that people oh. can regain hero points by <laughs> doing extraordinary things. That tale was pretty good. I think I'm pretty extraordinary. That's fine. You may have been full of lies. Irrelevant story. All stories are full of lies. The rat didn't do anything, she was just there. Uh, I didn't say the rat did anything. Never mind, it's true. <laughs> so, you watch as the bark in front of you shifts and her face appears and she goes, If you face what my mother faced, there's nothing that will stop him from killing you. And she just repeats back to the tree. Alright, so we're gonna need some help. <laughs> Don't worry. We know some people. What the fuck are you people looking at? I'm packing up my stuff. <laughs> I've been kicked out. And then realizing that we left the tainted dirt right next to the tree. I was still sitting at the tree patting her, watching you, hearing this beautiful story. Just beautiful language. It'd probably sound like people talking in North Gaelic, I'd imagine. Mm. All right, let's get our shit and get out of here. When? Hopefully we won't fuck this up. Done. I would appreciate if you didn't. Now you, you know that... <laughs> ah, I see it's contagious. Bill is appeared. There we go. That is the voice. I'm so sorry. I uh, get confused a little bit with the accent, depending on which language I'm hearing. Um, of course. Now that we know that there is a spell or something that has affected you in your kin, can you work to undo it? We probably can't, but if you get a mark of luck, she probably can do it. What the... What does she look like? Green. Picture Cinemora, but more. Oh, is she not a fairy? Cinemora is a dryad queen. Cinemora? No, yeah, no. Sorry, Amorpha is a dryad queen. Um, I yeah, I think I just assumed she was the queen of the fairies. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we, this was never discussed. We never asked what sort of entity she was. Queen, so I assume. Yeah. No, she's a dryad queen. But she's left. Hence why Cinemora is her daughter. Oh, I was a little bit confused by that. Okay. Oh, I assume you don't. No, no, never mind. Uh, Humans. <laughs> Whatever. But she's away from her forest. Dryad queens are much more powerful. They can be away from their forest for greater periods of time. Okay. Yep. Okay. Also, yes. they're not tied to a single tree. They're tied to a forest. So she can go anywhere in the forest, and she doesn't have the same limitations as Cinemora does. So if she leaves the forest, she will die? Yes, but she can go away for greater periods of time. How much time? About two months. Okay. 
hence why that's about the length of time you've got before Sanimora has to take on the full weight of an entire of the forest. Queen's mantle. At that point, she probably won't be able to handle it. This makes a lot more sense. Glad I yes. asked. I would have been looking for a very, for a very I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> No, Welcome don't. to the club. Maybe a little bit. I don't think to be honest, I was very much focused on. I can kind place. of understand that, but big tree, Cinemora, yeah, simple logic dictates. <laughs> Maybe it takes a simple person to understand a simple concept. We should ask our club. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it did kind of make sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, if this is the daughter, then they look like that, right? Yeah. yeah. No, I was thinking adopted. Oh, that yeah. wasn't. Yeah, like. She lives in a tree. Yeah. She took over her mother's tree. Yeah. Well, yeah, essentially, yeah. What forest? No, a yeah. tree. Yeah. She's, she specifically said tree. Yeah, no, it's. Look. It's fine. Kin can mean all manner of things. It's okay. What did I nail it down to? You've got a few. Mm Mm-hmm. So. There's a Bay Law. Mm Mm-hmm. Pit Fiend. Mm Mm-hmm. One of the Council of Elysior. The the Wizards Council. The Wizards Council. Yep. Any of the Paragon Council could probably do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, any of the higher levels of the Runesmiths could probably do it. Mm-hmm. Um, an Archangel could probably do it. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a bunch of like outer weird things that come to mind that you've sort of heard tale of that you don't really have a solid idea on but you know could yeah. be or not be yeah um like eldritch horror kind of yeah, things yeah sort of things like yeah you know slender man and yeah <laughs> yeah um those are the big ones though mm-hmm. basically anything Top of its food chain, mm-hmm. because when it comes down to it, a dryad queen is essentially top of the food chain in the Fey realms. Yeah, to a point. It's not top top of the food chain, but it's pretty high up there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and the reason you put like the celestials and all that on there is because, from the information you've got, corruption's involved. Mm-hmm. So you can't really rule out any of the good alive creatures. Mm-hmm. Because if it's corrupted by corruption, that doesn't rule it out. Yep. Interesting. Haley, can you I don't have a pen. I need that list written down. <laughs> I wrote down some of it, I missed the first couple. Baylor, Pit Fiend. Baylor, Pit Fiend. Council of Elysior. Did any of the councils of Elysior? Paragons of. Yeah. Any of the Paragon Council? Um, Out of. Cthulhuin horrors. Any of the. The outsiders? The, any of the higher tier outsiders. Mm-hmm. Um, basically anything that's at the top of its food chain, essentially. Mm-hmm. Uh, lions. Mm. Interesting. So nothing draconic in that list, not really. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't fit, fit the bill. No. They wouldn't... Sneak around like this. No. They would have just crashed in and burnt everything to the ground. It doesn't fit their MO. Yeah. That's one thing you can pretty safely rule out. Mm-hmm. Dragons, mm-hmm. not really right. Yeah. I mean, you can't rule it out 100% because there are some dragons yeah, that you could but do, it's, but it's very much not there most of the ones that would do something like this, mm-hmm. they would do so by making a point. Mm-hmm. And making a point would be burning the entire place to the ground or turning it into a acid 
swap like a massive wasteland or yeah. turn an entire place into a like a mm-hmm. wretched swamp or something like that. Yeah. Also the rune smiths. The yeah. high level smiths, yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. Has the dwarven rune smiths? Or any just higher The yeah, no, the dwarven rune smiths. Yeah, the rune crafters. Because they're the specific ones that would have the know-how to be able to get in, mm-hmm. bind a dryad, and get out. <laughs> this is mine now. Um, and what you're pretty sure they're doing is using some kind of binding magic to be able to stop the rest of the grotto from being able to locate her. Yeah, I kind of gathered that. Yeah. High level binding magic will stop them. Is that arcane normally or? Um, okay, no, cult. Yeah. There are some religious binding spells, you're pretty sure, but they're again high level. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess. Well. <sighs> okay. Let's. We need to seek more advice on this. For the horses. That way. Are you sure? <laughs> well, that's the exit, so yes. Um. Yeah, we'll just Well. Not that it hasn't been a pleasure, but. Get, the get out. <laughs> you said that the rock? Right, yes, of course. You're more than welcome to go and get it. Look around. <laughs> Head that way, and she points the opposite direction to where you go to get out. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would be. Very though there's a cave along that way with some um, uninvited guests, I guess is probably the best way. Uninvited guest. Let's go see the best way to describe it. Um, is it a troll? No. Ogre. No. I don't know what it is. Something in there. Every now and then one of the sprites goes up there to take a look and they don't come back. Oh. Yeah, because that did Right now. Well, small. Sorry, I'm not I here. mean, I was always planning on sending you up there if you were. Prove to be competent? Well, prove to be a problem. You proved to be not a problem, that's why I'm warning you. Well. Most, most of you have proved to be not a problem. Th- three out of four in bed. Six of us. That's okay, Math is in your strong suit. Uh-huh. He's very good at punching things. Well, that's your game. I'm slightly above average, I think. So my game was, I was paralyzed. I woke up, I blew something up and got kicked out. Congratulations. <laughs> Business as usual, I see. And that is where the story ends for this episode. Thank you for joining us on this part of our adventure. Stay tuned for more adventures next time and don't forget to spread the word.